Hello and welcome back to our Marine Corps Patriots Dynasty in NCAA Football 2005. We're going to be finishing up Season 4 here today. I believe we have three games left, uh, possibly four if we end up getting into the ACC Championship game. Actually, there isn't one, so no, there will only be three games here tonight. I forgot there's only 11 teams in our conference right now, uh, and that obviously cannot change. Well, let's see. Let's take a quick look at our schedule. I know we lost uh, three straight to finish out the last stream. All right, three really close. Oh, we've lost four straight. We were doing really good, then we lost uh, DeMarco McKelvey. So we were 6-0. and We lost McKelvey. I can't remember when we lost him, but look at all these close games we've had this season so far. Uh, Notre Dame, we beat by a field goal, so there's one one-score game. Two, three, four, five, six, seven one-score games this season. And, you know, we, we got to find a way to, to come out on top against all these guys. Obviously, some pretty quality opponents here. Virginia Tech, NC State beating us. Uh, we lost to rival Navy. Actually, that was a two-score game, my bad. Um, but yeah, the rivalry game, we, we couldn't do anything in that game. Um, but the, obviously, the Duke game, inexcusable. But we, we just got to try to find a way, guys. And it doesn't get much easier. We got to take on number 25, Virginia. in our next game and then we'll be hosting army to finish out the regular season and then we'll get into a bowl game we have six wins we are bowl eligible um i would like to get you know i'd like to win at least one of these games to finish out the season uh you know get seven or eight wins to end the year would be good uh that'd be a pretty solid season for our first time uh in the acc conference let's see weekly schedule this is a televised game in charlottesville virginia uh, we've played the cavaliers i think two other times in this series maybe season one and season two if i'm remembering correctly hey tyler what's up buddy am i feeling better yeah i'm hanging in there i'm still breathing buddy well here's the Matchup, we are no longer ranked, obviously, losing four straight. We're down to 37th, uh, but we do still have the number two defense in the nation uh, for this season. But the offense obviously has taken a significant hit with the loss of DeMarco McKelvey, the senior quarterback. We're still trying to find the answer under center, and I'm just, I'm just not sure if we're going to be able to find it, to be honest. But we're trying, guys. We are trying. Sorry, I was devastated in the last game. That's eh, all right, buddy. I more so wasn't talking because there wasn't really anybody in chat for the third game on the last stream. Thanks for sharing that in the Discord, Tyler. Appreciate it, buddy. All right, now let's get into some games, shall we? Do, 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 do. Michigan beating Ohio State. Love to see that. Don't forget to slap the like button, guys. Subscribe if you're new. And join our Discord community. There's a link on the channel and in the description of all the other streams. Um, I have not figured out how to get the info to just transfer over to new streams for some reason. So i got to keep doing that after every stream is over. Virginia Tech loses. West Virginia is still number one in the country. All right, let's go get a dub, boys. Let's get it. Hoping the power stays on. We've had just a massive thunderstorm all day. I don't know if you guys can hear it out there. I was typing in the Discord. As soon as I sent a message about the stream, just this giant 
thunder just, oh my goodness, scared the heck out of me. Shook my whole house. Popping open a can, baby. A little bit of Mountain Dew, a Baja Blast to start off the stream. Man, that's good. I have not had one of those in I don't know how long, honestly. Probably since I worked uh, at Walmart overnight. That was, oh my goodness, that was a long time ago. I want to say I left there in 2015. Let's see, I started there when my, my oldest was little. She's going to be 10 in August. My goodness. Yeah, I think it was 2015 then. Dang. All right, Patriots. I worked at Walmart. I don't work there anymore. I think I, I stopped working there in 2015 or 2016. Something like that. I don't remember fully. Yo, what up, Frank? What's going on, buddy? Hope you're doing well, man. You just started working at Walmart? Nice. What are you What are you doing there, buddy? I refuse to go back to the, the one that I worked at because they just treated everybody terrible. All right, Patriots. Let's see if we can start off a good kickoff. I mean, it wasn't terrible. Nice tackle by Hartley. And the Cavalier offense will take the field to start off the ball game. Coming out with four wide receivers. Stock of meat and produce. Nice. Yeah, I used to I used to stock the pet department. Worked overnights, 10 o'clock to 7 o'clock in the morning. Funny story about when I worked there, I I was already, I already adjusted my sleep schedule to accommodate switching over to overnights. And then they had me come in for like orientation and all this computer learning during the day. So I literally slept through all of it. And the woman, <laughs> the woman that did my orientation, um, I was the only overnighter there. The woman that did my orientation let me sleep like right next to her the whole time. <laughs> she was so sweet. Uh, she she knew I was already already prepped and ready to go for overnight, so She's like, "It's okay, honey. You can take a nap." I was like, "Thank God." <laughs> Here we go. Come on, defense. You going at 4 a.m.? Yeah, that's, uh, well, the job, I just got let go from my job, actually. I worked at a sauce bottling plant in upstate New York. I just got let go uh, last Thursday, uh, Tuesday? Last Tuesday, I think. What was that for? But they pretty much have been just firing everybody on first shift. I think they have two people left. Um, yeah, I used to wake up at four o'clock and then get ready well I woke up I'd work out a little bit shower and then head on out to work no way he caught that oh my goodness what a catch by Lewis yeah my shift oh, the hours literally changed they changed our schedules like six times in my last job at first, I was working five to five, four days a week, and then we they switched it to ten-hour shifts, five days a week. So I was making good money then. Then they switched it to eight-hour shifts, and then they switched the hours on the eight-hour shifts again. It's like you guys just can't make up your mind. They were going crazy. But for the most part, my shift started it either 5 or 5.30 for the majority of the time I work there. Alright, defense. Let's 
Let's actually get a takeaway on one of these, huh? Nice deflections. I do not like seeing a left tackle wear number five. That is just throwing me off right now. Oh, baby. Come on, boys. Let's get an extra DB out there for third and ten. We'll go... I know there's cover three cloud. I like cover three cloud. I get to stay deep. I get deep third with Stevens on the right side, so... Hopefully I don't get torched. Our defense has taken a significant hit since we lost to Marco McKelvey as well. It's been... It's been really crazy to see how the whole team has been affected just by losing our quarterback like that. Obviously, I knew the offense was going to take a hit. We, we've been switching up some formations, trying to get something else working uh, with a couple different young quarterbacks here um, in the second half of this season. Nice kick for Virginia as they take the lead 3-0 here in the first quarter. That was a nine-play, 51-yard drive, 136 off the clock. Our offense will get a shot. But I, I knew the offense was going to struggle. I was not expecting the defense to, to give up so many big plays. I, I don't understand it, but... Hopefully, we can fix that in these last two or three games this season that we have. I honestly can't even remember who's at quarterback right now. It is Sutherland, the true freshman. All right, we're going to go triple option, left side. And that was not good, but a good spin from Christensen. Got one or two yards on the, on the run. Worst flight song ever for Virginia. <laughs> I actually cannot hear the game audio, so. I don't have headphones on or anything. It's just me sitting in silence. There you go, Walker. Good catch, buddy. All right, third and short. We can manage this one. Let's give it off to the fullback, huh? The freshman. Yeah, so since I since I lost my job, I'm gonna be streaming. I'm gonna try to stream uh, for uh, you know a while each day. I'll probably start in the morning. Let's see, today's what Wednesday. So tomorrow, wow, we did not get that. Oh my goodness, what are we doing? Let's go triple option. Yeah, tomorrow's Thursday. No! Oh my goodness, we didn't get it. Oh my word. The offensive line just gets blown up there. Gonna have to rely on the defense, obviously. They need to just continue trying to step it up. Yes, Tyler, I lost my job, so... I'm gonna be streaming during the days. Uh, until I can find a new one. Uh, next Wednesday evening, I'll have I have an interview that I have to go to uh, for a job that could actually like change my life. So fingers crossed for that one. Uh, give me some uh, some prayers if you do that. Get that ball. Let's go, baby. Find me Gatewood on the recovery. Let's go. Yeah, the job I'm gonna go interview for has a very large sign-on bonus, so I I could desperately use that, to be honest. All right, offense, what are we doing here? I just don't know what to do with this offense anymore. I, mean, I know we can throw. I mean, Sutherland has a cannon for an arm, but it's just the fact that our wide receivers have a tough time getting open. Alright. 
you go, Stevenson. Nice catch by the halfback on the sideline. That's actually a really difficult catch to make. A lot of the times we try that, you, you know, you see the receiver just drop it. Tyler, was there an ad on the stream when you clicked on it, buddy? I'm trying to see if the uh, advertisements are up and running since we got monetized again. Would love to do this full time, but that's something that I would need to actually literally just turn into a full time job. You know, wake up in the morning, stream all day. What well, ad? So there wasn't an ad? Alright. Well, the ads will help me make money on the, on the stream style. Just like a commercial, basically. They're down an eight. Oh my goodness, how did he not get over to that? Dang it. All right, we'll punt it away. And a decent punt. Can we get down there? And we do tackle him inside the 20-yard line. I like that. Opening up another tab on my computer, so please let me know if the stream lags at all. Oh, let's go, Washington! The freshman touchdown Patriots! Let's go, baby! The number one recruit in the nation with the pick six. That's what I'm talking about. You can't win offense, you gotta get, get some points with your defense, man. It's just as simple as that. Next point from Mills is up and good. Kick it off. I'm getting good accuracy on the, the kicks today. Just not the power, but that's all right. I would much rather have full accuracy than full power. defense let's get another one shall we oh nice deflection Landry let's go baby beautiful wow their quarterback two touchdowns seven interceptions on the season and they're currently ranked 25th in the country that is so bizarre to me second down and 10 for the Cavaliers That's my fault. Get that. Let's go, Johnson. The other five-star freshman. Let's go, baby. The tip drill comes into play. Now, all because their receiver uh, just couldn't hang on to it. Bounced right off of him. Let's see if it bounces off his hands or his helmet. Well, right off of his elbow, it looked like. So, beautiful turn of events for us. Oh, we're getting something going, Tyler. We're doing it, buddy. Here we go. Fullback dive. And no blocking. Kansas State beats Missouri 34-24.
All right, I'm gonna try to hit McCall and play action. Let's go, McCall. Come down with it, baby. Let's go. The walk-on freshman wide receiver with a touchdown catch. Beautiful. That is what you love to see. Love to see it. I'm going to take a two-score lead here. Look at that. Accuracy 100% again. All right, so we got two interceptions and a fumble recovery here in the first quarter. A pick six by the five-star number one recruit uh, in the country. Uh, what was his name? Albert Washington. Again, 100% accuracy for Jeremy. Jeremy? I don't know what that name is. Get him, boys. And a nice touchdown pass to the walk-on freshman wide receiver, McCall. Tackle for Landry. All right, I believe the stream is now monetized. Oh my goodness. Still trying to figure out how to get this into OBS again. Not even sure if this laptop I have can support it in there uh, with the proper quality and everything. But that would make it full screen and everything, so got to work on that. Oh, I misplayed that big time. Dang it. What was your fault, Tyler? What you talking about, man? Get him. Nice tackle for Carroll. Sounds like the thunderstorm is finally drifting off farther away from me. I hope. Pull back dive. No way. All right, defense, let's go. They're down at five. Puts a couple linebackers. They have three tight ends out here on this formation. Heavy set. Only one halfback, though. No fullback. They're going to go draw. And that goes nowhere. Let's go. Beautiful play by Walden. Freshman linebacker. And that'll end the first quarter. 14-3. Patriots on top. As we get a punt return. Fair catch this. All right, offense. What are we doing here, huh? Let's go some slants. Some quick passes. Oh, throw it, Sutherland. What are you doing? He did literally the entire throwing motion and didn't let go of the ball. That's unfortunate. That's crazy that he didn't throw that. All right, here we go. Second down and 18 after the sack. And we get sacked again. Oh, baby. Not looking good on this drive. O-line, can you help me out just the one time, please? 
I'll give you a dollar. That's all I got. Oh boy. Throw it! Woo! Oh my goodness. Deflected away. Thought for a second it was a safety. Uh, let's <laughs> let's punt this away, shall we? What a terrible drive that was. Goodness gracious. Hundred percent accuracy again on the kick. Let's go, Washington. Get down there. Good tackle. Let's go. He dropped that, you know. Xavier Green in the chat. What's going on, brother? Oh, nice run. Running over uh, Deontay Mullins. And we got another third down and six for the Cavaliers. They are one for three in the game. Come on, boys. He's taking off. Get him. Get him. No way. He got the first down, I think. Pretty sure he got it. Yep. Dang it. That is really unfortunate, I must say. There should be a uh, pretty, pretty long stream here tonight. We got three games. Unless they snub us and don't give us a bowl game if we lose these next two uh, two games. Uh, then we're going to do the entire offseason. Then tomorrow, uh, whenever I wake up in the morning, I mean, I'm going to eat something, work out, and oh, what a spin move. My goodness, Woodruff. But I'm going to try streaming for the majority of the day tomorrow. So we might even do a full season. Who knows? What do I have to lose? Nothing. My defense. No way. What a catch. Johnson. I hit triangle with Johnson, and he ran to the left for some reason. Not sure what happened there, but good touchdown for the Cavaliers as they close the gap to five. Train derailment stopped your commute. Oh my goodness, that sounds terrible. Hopefully, uh, nobody was hurt. All right, fourteen to ten. Cavaliers fighting their way back into it. These games are all going to be a pretty significant struggle. We're trying to work out a new quarterback, trying to build a system around him. And a good return from Landry up past the 30-yard line. What if my PS2 dies? Well, if it's going to die, it's going to die, Tyler. Just try to remind me to save that for every game, buddy. Get there. Come on, Simon. No, oh, he dropped it. Come on, man. What are you doing? Just came off the tracks. Just a freight train? Well, that's good. I was worried somebody got hurt. That would not be good. Alright, little power option. Probably not gonna work. 
Yeah, we'll just go up the middle for a yard. Our offensive line is just not doing so hot on run plays. Trying to figure it out, trying to work around it, but uh, we're 0 for 3 on third down. I do hear thunder again. That is not what I like to hear. Run, Sutherland! I don't think he got it. If that was McKelvey, that's a first down. Uh, we're going to go for it, though. The way all these games have been shaping up for us the last four weeks uh, have been pretty bad, so. We just need some plays to go our way. Fine. Let's go, Sutherland. Run, baby! Woo! Inside Cavalier territory. We've only got 71 yards of offense. My goodness. 10 rushing yards. When have you ever seen us do something like that? Of course, that will improve with uh, our three freshman linemen improving. Come on, Sap. I think he overthrew him. Yep. Big overthrow. Sap, not the fastest. I mean, he's a pretty quick fullback, but... He's not gonna he's not gonna be able to catch up to those. Alright, got a hot route here. Single coverage. Oh, Simon can't come away with it. I keep looking for these one-on-one -on -one matchups on the outside because. I think that's really the only time we're going to be able to beat these guys in the secondary. Again, we are 0 for 4 on third down. Uh-oh. I'm toast here. Sutherland's exhausted, trying to run away from people. Love seeing Michigan beat Ohio State. Love it. In the best rivalry in college football. I think the rivalry has a name, doesn't it? I just can't remember. Come on, boys. Nice tackle. All right. Just going to have to rely heavily on the defense for this game and the rest of the games this season. Hopefully next year... Uh, for year five, we can figure out the offense. Uh, hopefully, Sutherland, his overall will go up a little bit more, maybe. I don't know. It's just difficult trying to find formations and, and plays that actually suit his, his abilities. Not sure who got this sack. It was Kwame Gatewood. Let's go, baby. Awesome. One on the play. We have zero rushing yards right now. That is just... Trash. And drop pass on the screen. Third down and 11 coming up. I'm going to go spy to Robber. We've seen this quarterback take off a couple times in this game so far. Don't want him to get 11 yards here. Oh my goodness, what a catch. Curtis lays out to try to deflect the ball away and it results in a pretty <laughs> pretty significant collision out there. But I believe it was Lewis able to hang on to it for the first down for Virginia. What a play. We're getting, we're just getting crushed on offense. Our offense can be anyway. The reason we're winning is the three takeaways that the defense has produced for us. Quarterback's taking off. Get him, boys. Just stand there and watch him run. Cavs call a timeout. Two minutes to go in the first half. And 
Woodruff. I don't think he got the first down there. Sampson, a freshman, even the tackle on the stop. Third and inches coming up. Let's go, boys. Goal line set. Play action. Ah, dang it. Hard to defend that. Nice play by the tight end. Miami beats Wake Forest 34 23. Lance Leggett had a nice day receiving for the Kings. Let's go, defense. Step it up. Come on, boys. And incomplete, overthrown, intended for the same tight end that just got the ball on the previous play. Washington, why do you keep getting turned around like that? I mean, I know he's a freshman and all, but come on, man. First and goal for Virginia. And Landry gets beat by Lewis this time. Virginia going to take the lead. All right, chat, what do we do? What do we do on offense? Any suggestions? I am all here. Just one, that's all I got. So our, our defense is not gonna be able to, to keep us in every single game like this. I mean, they're getting crushed right now, 204 yards, because our offense cannot move the ball down the field. Plays 73 yards, minute 44 off the clock for the Cavaliers of Virginia here in Charlottesville. We gotta we gotta figure something out to get out of this slump. Cannot drop five straight games. That's some like Minnesota Viking type stuff. Start like 6 and 0, lose the rest of your games in the season. I've seen him do that many times. Let's try some traditional run plays, I guess. We'll do halfback blast here. Switch it to the right. I mean, they're just all over us. It's tough, boys. It is tough. Big dog, big dog. And he's not going to do that hot route. All right, Simon, chill out. Throw it up. Walker, nice catch. Let's go. That was a beaut. I'm going to try a play action pass here. Hopefully we don't get sacked. I'd like to try to hit McCall on the wheel route. That's my go-to. The wheel. Nope. No way. Oh, my goodness. That should have been caught, first of all. Second of all, should have been intercepted uh, on, what, two deflections there. Jones, I need you, buddy. I need you to make some plays here. We have very few options throwing it. It's either, you know, a wheel route, or, or, you know, a streak, some slants here and there. Please catch the ball. Let's go, Walker. At the 16, or 16 seconds left, rather, at the five-yard line. We got one timeout left. 
Got to get in the end zone here. I would love a touchdown. I'm going to try to hit Jones on the slant. High snap. Jones. Oh, no. We're going to have to call a timeout. Nope. Dang it. Well. Oh, boy. That's a one-yard line. Got to get points here. I want to go for a touchdown there, but I don't want to leave points on the field. Field goes up and good. We are all tied up as we head into the locker rooms for halftime. 17 all here in Charlottesville. I think that was the right call there to get the points. We get the ball to start the third quarter. Let's try to get some, some run plays working. Anything. Got to be something that works, right? Got to be. Dang. Every time we do a run play, there's just always a linebacker just standing there waiting. Our guys just don't get to the second level to, to block anyone, unfortunately. Go away, Thunder. Stay away from my house. Throw it up. Let's go. The call, or no, it's Walker, rather, to the 40-yard line. Good play. We are torching that right side. Left side, middle, not so much. All right, let's go fullback dive. Go set. Nope, no blocking. Every single time we pick a run play, they're just blitzing. Linebackers are going in every single gap. Nice deflection. Woo! Thankfully, not picked off. They're down an eight coming up now. Still haven't completed a third down yet. That's wild. Oh, no way. If that wasn't deflected, we would have got the first down. Dang it all the heck. Well, we're going to have to punt it away now. Perfect accuracy. Love that. Nice play. We still have no rushing yards in this game. That is so sad. Go defense! Third down and one. This is a big play. Set. 
be nice to get a quick stop, get the ball right back for our offense. Our struggling offense. Why did my guy move so far to the right right there? What in tarnation? I was in the perfect spot. I don't know why he moved like that. There we go. Beautiful play by Carroll. The junior defensive end. Right? He is a junior, right? I believe so. Remember his freshman year, he had zero sacks. Last season, he had seven. Really big improvement from him. Woodruff with some nice spin moves, but just not enough to get past the second level. They're down 12 coming up. I'm going to blitz Deontay Mullins from the right outside linebacker spot here. And we get the sack. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. There's Mullins. Sent him on the blitz. He delivered. Made a great play for the Patriots. Ran right through the <laughs> through the block from the halfback. Woodruff stood no shot there. And we go off sides on a punt. Awesome. Love that. Alright, let's not have any more mistakes, huh? Sounds good to me. Go Curtis. Get that block, please. Oh my goodness, he didn't block him. Run! Nice return up to the 40-yard line for Darius Curtis, the senior uh, cornerback. All right, coach, what are you picking? Crosses? Let's get it. Something's got to work, right? Good pass. Jones drops it, of course. And Brock Leon... Well, Broccoli, the freshman, is now injured on the play. That's just not good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. All right, we're going to go slot wheels. That's one of my favorite plays. We'll be taking on one of our other rivals after this game, the Army Black Knights, for our regular season finale, our homecoming game. You gotta make that catch, buddy. Perfect throw. Ashley Jackson in the chat. What up, Ashley? Been a long time? Absolutely. It's good to see you in chat. Hope you're doing well. Come on, Jones. Get up, brother. He's got him beat. And he drops it again. You gotta be kidding me, man. Two straight drops. Should have been two big completions. And the offensive woes continue for the United States Marine Corps. Good to see you still at it. I'm trying. The Lord keeps throwing tests at me. But I keep on winning. Jay Washington, what's going on, brother? Sneaking in here at work. Love to see it, buddy. Enjoying your off day, Ashley. Nice. Every day is an off day for me now. Lost my job on Tuesday last week, unfortunately. They're letting everybody go from first shift, so... They're probably just going to put second shift on to just one big shift, I guess. I don't know what their, <laughs> what their plan is, but definitely hurts my bank account. Let's go, Mullins. Flying. 
Love it. He's having a really good game. Did they count that as a sack? People are quitting down there. Oh, you're at, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure you're in Georgia. Yeah, you are, all right. I remember. Yeah, it's sad, like, you know, not everybody wants to work. And the ones that do want to work, you know, end up getting let go. It's like, <laughs> what the heck? I'm just trying to pay my bills, man. I can't even get unemployment either, because, well, I don't have my, I don't have a New York ID. I still have my Florida ID from 2018. Darius Curtis, on for the punter. <laughs> All right, offense, what are we doing here? Slot wheels again? Is somebody going to catch the ball for me, though? That's the that's the big question here. Jones, I'm trusting you, man. I'm throwing to you again. I'm doing it. Jones, you better get there. That was a severe overthrow. My goodness. Yep, I remembered where you live. I, I can't remember where I live sometimes, but I remember other people. All right, this offense is driving me insane. I just don't know what to do. We lose a quarterback, and the whole team just goes down. Oh, my God, another drop. Come on, bro. Third down and ten. We have not completed a third down this entire game. It's actually just mind-boggling what's happening right now. And overthrow. All right, we're, we're going to have to do something else at quarterback. Sutherland is just not it, man. McKelvey, why'd you have to get hurt, buddy? All right, let's put in Keith McDowell, Richard Sr. See what happens. Perfect accuracy on the punt again. Let's go. Come on, McCall. Get down there, buddy. And Saps, the fullback, actually makes the tackle on the punt. We have six rushing yards, guys. Six. What do you mean? It's so crazy that we lose the quarterback and the entire run game just vanishes. What we need is another pick six would be fantastic. The fact we've only scored one touchdown on offense in this game just hurts my soul. It really does. All right. I get deep middle with Stevens. Screen! Nice play. Let's go, Landry. Beautiful. It's definitely a big issue in uh, NCAA 05 is incomplete passes. That's that is a fact. High snap. Damn beautiful throw to Lewis. My goodness. like that sometimes just got to keep working I'm trying we've lost four straight it's not good get him boys nice tackle Samson freshman defensive tackle with the tackle for a loss second down and 11 coming up See if they get one more playoff here in the third. And they do snap it. And they get another first down. That'll end the third quarter. Get your fours up in the chat, folks. We're all tied up here in Charlottesville, Virginia, against the 25th ranked Cavaliers. 17 all.
Hopefully I went four straight. That'd be nice. Unfortunately, we've only got uh, two games left after this. We got one game against Army and then a bowl game. So, Come on, boys. No way you let me catch that, right? Thank you. Eight hurries, four sacks, two interceptions. The defense is putting in a lot of work in this game, but again, it's, the offense is just killing us. When you can't move the ball down the field with your offense, you know, you put your defense in a really tough spot all game long. And there's an overthrow. Dangerous pass. And third down and ten coming up. Let's go cover three cloud. I get deep third with Stevens on the right. I will be playing our final two games and doing the full offseason in this stream, so... Let's go! Stevens! The user interception, baby! That's what I'm talking about. This dude is a beast. He's a beast. Leads the team in interceptions. I, I've lost count of how many he's got. You know, because I'm using him, so... It'd be like that. Alright, offense. What are we doing? I put a different quarterback in there. This one's a little bit more mobile, a little faster, um, a little quicker than the freshman. We're just going to go option. We're going to just try to pound the rock for this entire drive. I know we have no rush game right now. We have eight yards rushing in this entire contest, but we are going to keep it going. You still remember that epic comeback, Ashley? UC Davis, baby, against Montana. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Whew, that was a little awkward. I wanted him to cut up field, but instead he juked back into my own lineman. But all right. Bet. Yeah, I, I still remember that game, too. That, that game was insane. I remember... I think we had almost 20 viewers during the first half of that game and dwindled down to like 8 or 9. And then we made the comeback and everybody joined back up with like 4 minutes left in the game or something like that. Nice deflection. Dang it! Alright. Hey, we're still tied, so... Keep believing in the defense. We gotta, we gotta win some of these one-score games. We have to, or we're in trouble. Nice tackle by Albert Washington, number one recruit in the nation. How many points was that comeback? I can't remember. It's like four touchdowns or something like that, wasn't it? Or more. Might have been more. Alright, second down and ten. Doing a little cover three. Yeah, he's going to take off. He is quick. Wow, Maryland is crushing number two Virginia Tech, 27 to seven in the third. I don't want to see him get the first down again. Come on, man. Want to blitz Mullins from the outside linebacker spot right there? Let's go D. And deflection from Stevens. Regear Productions in the chat. What up, Regear? What's going on, buddy? Did you get an advertisement when you clicked on the stream? This is a question I need to know the answer to. Oh, Landry. Come on, baby. We needed that. I finally got the channel remonetized again. 
took me a little bit, but... I think Super Chats, I'm pretty sure Super Chats are available again. No way he caught that. Dang it! I don't want to see it. Nope. It breaks my heart. Our, our defense is a little tired right now. I'm not liking it. Green! Get him, boys! He should have been tackled at the line of scrimmage. I'm going to blitz Darius Curtis from the nickel corner spot. Hopefully he can make a play. Play action. Get him, Curtis! Oh my goodness. This receiver is just killing us. I don't even know what that means. Let's go, who's? You the Cavaliers. Stop it. Big Geo in the chat. What up, Big Geo? Uh oh, Stevens is so exhausted that Cobb is now on the field. Good tackle by, who was that? I can't even see who that is. That was Fitzpatrick. Come on, D. Second and goal. We need to stop. Pull back dive. And he's in. Dang it. Good try by the D lineman bringing him down, but he was able to reach across the line for the score. And now we are in deep doo doo. I don't know what we're going to do with this offense. I just have no answer for it. We have 10 rushing yards this entire game. Next point up, and it is good. Number 25, Virginia Cavaliers on top. 24-17 here in the fourth quarter. I'm going to let the coach pick some plays. Because, I mean, nothing's working. So. The return. Okay, Landry. Up to the 33-yard line, it looks like. All right, coach, what do you got? Halfback ISO. Like, I haven't been doing that. Don't forget to slap the like button, guys. And subscribe if you're new. Yeah, we cannot run the football. I don't get it. Two yards. I'm not doing a quarterback draw, coach. Are you crazy? I will go play action. I'll do it. Please catch the ball. Oh, Simon, I love you. Let's go. Beautiful throw from the senior quarterback, McDowell. Who knew he had it in him? Not me. They have a guy off sides. Not sure what he's, what he's doing here. Nice catch by Jones. That guy may have fell asleep on the field. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to decline it. We got nine yards out of the play, so. Fullback blast. That's what we're going with, coach. Not whatever you picked. Let's go, Sap. Work magic, baby. And gets the first down. Let's go. Get hype, big fella. Alright, I'm going to pick a play here. And it's going to be slants. 
if this doesn't get deflected at the line of scrimmage, Walker should be open, all right? And I got sacked instead. Oh, that's such a feels bad. No, we don't want to see the replay. Goodness gracious. I gotta keep it in the back of my mind that McDowell can run the football. He is quick. Oh, we're taking off. We're taking off, McDowell! Inside the five yard line, let's go, baby! One of the best plays of the game makes it third down and inches. I'm gonna go fullback blast again. Sap, you're gonna get this first down, whether you like it or not. I'll call your mother. I'll do it. Sat almost in the end zone. Let's go. LSU crushes Ole Miss. They put up 63 on them. Woof. Fullback dive. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Just over a minute left in the ball game. The freshman fullback, Sapp, can he get in? Yes, he can. Touchdown, Patriots. The big fella rumbles and bumbles and does not fumble. Let's tie this bad boy up. That was the best drive all day. And it's not even close. Extra point from Mills is up, and it is good. We are all tied up. 24-all here in Charlottesville, Virginia, against the 25th-ranked Virginia Cavaliers. Now we need the defense to wake up. No accuracy. But I got full power. Not that it matters. I was hoping for a forced fumble right there. That would have been game. I would have just straight up called it right there. Ray Lewis out here playing wide receiver for Virginia. He had two touchdowns. And Albert Washington gets player of the game for the United States Marine Corps. He had the pick six in the first quarter. Second down and ten. From the 20-yard line. An interception right here would be fantastic. And we get the sack. Let's go. Kwame Gatewood, his second of the game. Oh, that is beautiful. All right, we're going to go cover three cloud. We got deep third on the right with Stevens. Big, big play right here. And they throw it short. So we do get the stop. We've got one timeout left. If we can get a decent punt return here, we could have something going for us. Hey, Tyler, welcome back, buddy. All right, get these blocks, please. Oh, they didn't get the blocks. Dang it. I needed one block right there, and I probably could have got 15, 20 yards out of that. That is unfortunate. All right, we got 37 seconds. We got one timeout left. Field goal wins it. Just going to take off. That took six seconds off the clock. McDowell, why are you so pumped right now, buddy? Chill out. Of course, Virginia hasn't really run the ball that well either in this game. I'm going to take off again. I had McCall open for a second on the left side, but defensive linemen started to chase. I just had to, had to just take the yards there. Right, 26 seconds. Got him beat. Oh, he threw it short. Simon, oh my goodness. 
Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm going to go back to the play-action pass that we started the drive with. Walker, if you can get one step on the guy. Nope. Oh, that should have been uh, pass interference. It's all good. Third down and ten. Fifteen seconds. We gotta get to like the fifteen yard line for field goal range, so we'll see how that goes. Nice deflection. Oh, that's not what we wanted. No! McCall! Oh my goodness! Woo! That was the worst case scenario right there. Luckily I brought him down with McCall. So we're going to see a Hail Mary here, and then we're going to go into overtime. So either way, it's going to be a pretty fun finish. And if McDowell just had a better arm, he could have got that to the end zone. It's all good, boys. Maybe we'll get a pick six here. Wouldn't that be great? He's going to take off? Are you kidding me? Let him have the yards. All right, we're going to overtime, guys. Get your OTs up in chat. <laughs> oh, man. Have we ever gone to overtime in this series? I don't, I don't think we have. 24-24 at the end of the fourth quarter. Oh, man. All right. Let's get a touchdown. We can run the ball, coach. We can run it. You think we did go to overtime? I, I can't remember. We've played so many games. I mean, we're almost done with season four right now, so. Hard for me to remember every game. Here we go. Run, McDowell. Run, baby. Out at the eight-yard line. West Virginia and Syracuse in a tight one. 31 all. Mountaineers currently number one in the country. Perfect in the red zone for the game. Um, two tries. One touchdown, one field goal. Again, they are in... Man coverage. Get that block. And down. Oh my goodness, we fumbled out of bounds. Unreal. This is why we don't give you the ball, Stevenson. You just gave me a heart attack. I'm going to keep going with the option, though. Might not work out in our favor, but we're going to try it. McDowell down to the two and a half yard line, I think. All right, what do we want to do here? Slants? Let's try slants. Oh my goodness, he dropped the touchdown. You have got to be kidding me. My guy just dropped the touchdown. I mean, we got to go for points, right? Dang it. Perfect play call, perfect throw. Drops it. Unbelievable. Bills for the lead. Field goal is up and good. We need the defense to step it up. I cannot believe he dropped the touchdown. Oh, man. 
My heart hurts right now. I am in pain. Come on, boys. Takeaway wins it. Quarterback draw. I mean, Gatewood brings him down. He got a couple yards out of it. Gonna blitz Norwood, middle linebacker, right up the gut. Come on, baby. Get that pick. Oh, my goodness. Johnson, what are you doing, my guy? We have five sacks this game. Wow. They're down in seven. Big play. Let's go, boys. Did we get the stop? We did. Let's go. Huge stop. Oh, my goodness. I thought he got it. 32-yard field goal try to tie it up and send it to double overtime here in Charlottesville. The field goal is up, and it is right down the middle. So we're going to go right back to defense again as we head into overtime number two here in ACC play. I want an interception. Nice play. Let's go. That is a huge start to this drive. LJ Carroll. Six tackles, a bunch for a loss, and a sack in this game. Woodruff had nowhere to go. That brings up second down and 15. We're going to send Mullins on another blitz. He used the linebacker on the left side of the screen. Play action, and Woodruff, oh my goodness, perfect play call. Let's see, third down and two. I'm going to blitz two linebackers, both outside linebackers on this play. And they got the first down. And more all the way down to the one-yard line. Oh, my goodness. That's not what you love to see. My goodness. Landry, what are you doing? All right, we're going man coverage. Fullback dive. He got it. Touchdown, Cavaliers. So now we have to answer right back with a touchdown of our own. Or this game is over. My goodness. Walden got right in there on the blitz, too. Extra point up and good. Now what do we want to do on offense now? Obviously score a touchdown. What are you thinking, coach? I'm not thinking that. All right, we need 25 yards. Go, McCall. Do something. Ah, I couldn't throw it to him. He was open. Do we have a power option? Yes, we do. All right. If I can get some decent blocking on the right side, this could be good. We did not get decent blocking. That was atrocious. All right, third down, 13 to go. We 
We are one for 12 on third down. My goodness. This offense, man, I'm telling you. To the end zone, he's open. He got it. McCall, let's go, baby. Oh, my goodness. Third and long, and McDowell delivers a strike to the walk-on freshman wide receiver, McCall. Oh, my goodness. Extra point will tie it up. And we'll go into the third overtime period. Unbelievable play. Extra point from Mills is up and good. The Patriots tie it up. That was crazy. All right, overtime number three. Now, if we score touchdowns, we got to go for two, I believe. Or is that after three overtimes? I can't remember. It's been so long. Where, where are you throwing that, McDowell? McCall's right in front of you, my guy. Might go to McCall again here on the right. Or have to take off. Oh my goodness, these guys are so fast. Alright, we're stuck another third and long. Do we do the same play we just scored on? Do we? We gotta try, right? Why not? Same play that we already scored on. Last overtime. Throw it up. Oh my goodness, first down, down to the 11-yard line. What a throw and catch. Walker over the century mark for the game now on five catches. That was clutch. Now, can we run the football here? We don't have to score yet. We can still get one more first down. If Christensen would just get a decent run here, that'd be nice. I mean, he ran a man over in the backfield to get nothing. And West Virginia, number one team in the country, beats Syracuse in overtime in the Carrier Dome. Man, I do not know what to do here. I'm going to try an off tackle. Here we go, Stevenson. Oh my goodness, the best run of the game for a halfback. Goes for a touchdown. Let's go. Beautiful. Where has that been all game long? Hasn't existed. All right, so we do have to go for two points now. I'm going to try slants, see if they drop it again. McCall in the slot on the left side. Nope, didn't get it. Man, that was, that was really tight coverage. Your aunt got a dog, Tyler? Nice, what kind of dog is it, buddy? All right, defense, come on. Let's get a pick and end this thing, please. I'm begging you. Oh, that's that's not a pick. Oh, boy. Now, we can't allow a touchdown. We just have to stop their two-point conversion. Obviously, I don't want to come to that, but... Can't always get what you want. Second down and two for the Cavaliers. And they do move the chains again. Walters, the big fullback, gets first down.
Just waited until you showed up. Pretty much, Ashley. <laughs> we literally couldn't run the football at all, all game. And we get the go-ahead touchdown with a run play. Out of the shotgun, no less. Which is crazy to me. Nice deflection. I wish, I wish that was picked off. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, boys. Second down to ten. Let's go. We need it. Don't let Woodruff run the ball, please. Play action. Oh, my goodness. Woo! Nice deflection. Albert Washington, the number one recruit in the country. With a beautiful deflection. And it's third and ten. From the 14-yard line. Come on, boys. Incomplete fourth down. This is for the game. Come on. I'm just doing cover two the last, like, three plays. It's working. Be sure to stick around after this game. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be taking on Army in our regular season finale. And that is game. Let's go. Let's go. We end the four-game losing streak with a big win against the top 25 opponent in the 25th ranked Virginia Cavaliers here in Charlottesville, Virginia. Andre Savage, the head coach, gets the Gatorade bath. That was overtime number three, I believe. Big time win for the program. We desperately needed that win. Could not lose five straight after winning, what was it, 18 in a row? Oh my goodness. Now we are 7-4 and four on the season going into our, our home finale, our homecoming game against the Army Black Knights, one of our three rivals. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy we won that game. That was such a struggle. 69 rushing yards for the culture. Let's go. Only 313 yards of offense. It has been such a struggle since we lost our senior quarterback, DeMarco McKelvey. I mean, 12 of 34 passing. Woof. 3 of 14 on third down. But the four takeaways from the defense, the three interceptions, and the fumble recovery, uh, that was the difference. You know, we had a pick six in this game. My goodness. What a game, guys. Check the old box score. Biggest lead was a touchdown in this game, I believe. No, we were up by 11 at one point in the first quarter. What a game. I love overtime games. So much fun. Very stressful, though. I've actually never really been good at overtime games. Because my defense always lets me down, but they did not in this one. Look at the rushing. I mean, what is this? That's terrible. My two running backs combined for 19 yards. The fullback had 11. I mean, come on, guys. 107 yards receiving for Michael Walker. Lee McCall, the walk-on freshman wide receiver. Two catches, 66 yards, two touchdowns today. Four drops for Randy Jones. I mean, my guy. You should have had seven catches. That would have made a huge difference in this game. Rock Leon, the freshman right guard. He got injured early on. He allowed two sacks. Didn't make much of a difference. LJ Carroll, John Stevens, six tackles each. Brandon Johnson, the true freshman, had five. Justin Walden. Look at all these young guys. Like, our defense is coming up, you know? Even though we're number one right now, are a lot of young guys on this team. They're going to be a lot better next season. And the season after that, five sacks for the defense. Gatewood, Mullins, Carroll. Interceptions, Washington, Johnson, Stevens, all true freshmen making an impact out there. Lots of deflections. Nobody got credit for the fourth fumble, but Kwame Gatewood did recover it. And the pick six for Albert Washington. Chris Mills, two for two field goals. Let's go. We punted the ball seven times. Average 39 per punt. That's pretty good for, for us. 
All right, let's simulate the rest of this week. We'll get into our regular season finale as we take on the Army Black Knights. Well, that'll be in Quantico, Virginia, our home stadium. Good luck, Charm Activated. Yes, ma'am. I do believe the thunderstorm has gone away from me. So we're going to simulate... Hawaii is 0-8. Illinois... 0 oh, and 10. What are you guys doing? You alright? Wow, Hawaii. 0 and 9. <laughs> what? That is wild. That is not something I expected to see just now. Florida State at 5 and 5. They're ranked 19th. What is going on in the top 25 this season? We'll also take a quick look at all that, Sports Illustrated, Top 25, all that fun, happy stuff. I can't believe Hawaii has not won a game all season. Are you kidding me? All right, that is not televised, this final game. We're back up to 27th in the country at just 7-4. and four. So if we win this, uh, look for us to actually get ranked for our bowl game. Wow, our defense is no longer number one, guys. Our pass defense has taken a massive hit lately. Uh, and that four-game losing streak kind of got rocked quite a bit. Uh, offense hanging around in the, seven, the low 70s there. I mean, there's, there's not much we can do on the offense. We're, we're trying to figure it out, guys. We're working through it. Uh, hopefully we can figure some things out against Army, who is a lesser opponent, but I'm not going to overlook them like I don't overlook uh, any opponent. Well, hopefully we can get in there and get another dub. Finish the regular season with eight wins. Top 25. Let's take a look. West Virginia, number one. They are 9-0 on the season after beating rival Syracuse for, what is it, the Scho Schwarzwalder Trophy? Is that what it is? Miami, number two again. After beating Wake Forest, 34-23. LSU crushed Ole Miss. USC crushes UCLA. Some close games here. Some Wow, three-loss Michigan is number seven. That is wild. A lot of teams are just losing this season. And look at all these two. Uh, Four-loss South Carolina. I mean, they did just demolish Clemson. Five and five Florida State. That, that's wild. Come on. Maryland is ranked at four and five after beating number two Virginia Tech. <laughs> what? What is going on here? I have never seen a team with more losses than wins jump up into the rankings this late in a season before. That is wild. It's actually crazy. You're okay with West Virginia at number one? Yeah, I mean, it'd be nice if they could win the championship. Look at Kyle Wright. Okay. <laughs> okay, buddy. Stop it. Bowl projections. I don't know why, but for some reason we haven't been in these. But we are now, since we are in the ACC. Tangerine Bowl invite. That'd be nice. Of course, Kansas is 3-6. and six. I expect that will change uh, once the final games are played. Conference standings. Our conference play is over. We cannot win the ACC here in our first season uh, in conference play. Uh, we gotta, we gotta get our offense going a little bit better. Only 287 points this season uh, for the Patriots. I know you guys can't see the team prestige because our stars are white, but we are a three-star program, and you can see that. Uh, where, where was it? Right here positions. Yep, Team Prestige, three-star Marine Corps Patriots. We're 31-18 and 18 on the season. All right, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to save just the Dynasty real quick uh, in case anything crazy happens. I don't want to lose that amazing game that we just had. Nice little three-overtime victory against Virginia. And then we're going to get into our game against the Army Black Knights. And then we'll see uh, who we got for a bowl game. We'll play that. 
And then we will do the complete off season for season four. And then tomorrow, uh, since I am unemployed, I'm going to be streaming. I'm going to try to stream for uh, the day. I don't know how many hours that'll be. But it'll be it's just as long as I feel like talking to y'all. If you're all going to be in the chat. I know everybody works for the most part or you're in school. But I will be here streaming. Hopefully we can get some new people in here. New people excited about some games. Uh, we're going to be going into Season 5 of this Dynasty. I don't know if we're going to end it after 5. Um, I might jump into a different game after the 5th season. Uh, just for a little bit. Just to switch it up just a little. Or I might just keep on going with this. But if I do jump into a different game, it'll probably be... Uh, 2k5 most likely All right guys, let's go take on the army black knights. They're four and five on the season They just lost their last game. We finally ended our four game losing streak after starting the season six and oh We had what an, I think an 18 game winning streak our defense is, has suffered lately in, in the passing game for sure uh, And our offense has been decimated with the loss of senior quarterback DeMarco McKelvey Texas just blanked Texas A&M 56 nothing. Wow. That is wild. We're going to go with our blackout uniforms in this game. See what Army's wearing. Yep, looks good. All right, let's get it. Marvin Joseph in the chat. What up, Marvin? Had an unexpected, unwanted visit from your cousin. Oh, boy. All right, Tyler, take it easy, buddy. All right, we're gonna we're gonna keep starting Sutherland at quarterback. He's a true freshman. He's got the best arm on the team. We gotta figure out something with him in this game. If we can't figure it out, next season is going to be really rough for us. Unless we can get like a five-star quarterback in recruiting. Daryl Jones in the chat. What up, brother? He recreated the 2000 Indiana Hoosiers team in NCAA Football 05. Those jerseys were sweet back then. Nice, man. I want to kick the ball off. Wow, our stands are just... We're, we don't got anybody up in the top anymore. A four-game losing streak really hurt. All right, let's get it, boys. Defense taking the field. Yeah, I don't, I can't remember exactly what the uniforms looked like for uh, 2000 for the Hoosiers. But. Get the stadium pulse off. That's all we got. Five bars. Oof, that's tough. I don't know what that throw was. But Daryl, if you are not in the Discord, uh, you could share images of the Hoosiers 2000 uniforms in the Discord so everybody can see it. There's a link on the channel. And somebody, one of the mods can post the Discord link um, if possible. If you'd like to join. Alright, third down and ten already for Army. They haven't really been known for, for good offense in this series so far. I don't think we've lost to Army yet. Really, Landry? You really just let that man do that to you. Wow. Unreal. Head coach, Andre Savage, just... <laughs> he is not happy with that play. Nice play. Let's go, Samson. The young defensive tackle. Getting the TFL. Second down, 13 now. Oh, my goodness. Mullins. 
You got to pick that, brother. They're down 13 coming up. Let's go cover three cloud. Army does like to throw the football quite a bit. They're going to go with a screen pass. And that is not going to get the job done. So the Black Knights will punt it away to the Marine Corps Patriots here in homecoming. A lot of these seniors going out. This is their final final game in front of the the student body and their family. Well, I guess not their family. They'll be at the last bowl game as well. But There he is, Curtis. Come on, baby. And he gets a really good punt return up past the 35-yard line. I'm going to let the coach pick some plays here. Not a draw, though. Go USMC beat Army. Yes, sir. See if Jones can actually catch the football today. Dude's wide open. There you go, Jones. That's what I'm talking about, man. Just catch the ball. That's all you got. That's literally your job. It's your only job when we're on this field. I throw it, you catch it, and run. That's it. Uh oh, I'm dead here. What happened to the blocking on that play? Oh my goodness. That was his first career sack. And that was a big loss. Oh my goodness. It, he. Wow. He made 75 look absolutely silly on that play. Loss of 10. Excited to see who we're going to be getting in our bowl game to finish off the season. McCall. And that is incomplete. He didn't even try to catch that ball. Third and 20 coming up. A promising drive. Kind of got killed after that sack. Hey, hi. <laughs> Welcome to the chat. Oh, my goodness. Can I get a block or two, please? Sutherland, he... Oh, my goodness. That was hit stick right there. I mean, I'm just getting... I, I got to run for my life. Oh, we're at the 36-yard line. I'm going to go for it. We're not going to... I'm not going to make a field goal from there. And I don't really want to punt from the 36-yard line. Not against Army, so... 94th in the country on fourth down tries this season. Not very good. Got him beat! Touchdown! Oh, he dropped it! Simon! My guy! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, man. That is unbelievable. That should have been a touchdown. It's all right. I'd rather go for it and give the ball right to them at that 36-yard line instead of punting it and getting like a 16-yard punt just to irritate me. And nice deflection from Albert Washington. Quick look at all the seniors this uh, for this final homecoming game. Blunt, Norm Blunt, Plummy Gatewood. Uh, Mullins, the middle linebacker, is also a senior. So it's going to be their final home game. And then we also have the one and only Darius Curtis. He is a senior as well. Oh, nice catch by 84. Oh, my goodness. There's our our suspect pass defense coming into play again. I don't know what happened to the pass defense, but it's just not good right now. The second half of the season, it has been an uphill battle. It's been a struggle. Oh, Mullins, that's your second time that you should have had a pick in this game. you got to make that play, buddy. I'm going to send Walden on a blitz our left outside linebacker. He 
was wide open. My goodness, touchdown Army. 64 yard touchdown drive and honestly, it did not take long. Man. Yeah, look, they made it look so easy. play and then we just kind of just kind of die. Let's go Curtis. And drop at the 20 yard line. I, I honestly don't think we're ever going to see a kick or punt return touchdown in this game. If we do it'll be a miracle. Come on, McCall. You got him beat, brother. Oh, my goodness. These guys are killing me. Their secondary is not good. Neither is their line. What about their linebackers? Nope. Goodness. Stevenson actually showing some shiftiness there. Didn't get too much though. Two or three yards on the carry. And just like that, third down and eight coming up. I mean, what do we do here? A little play action. A couple hot routes on the left. Off his back foot, and dropped. And that's been a struggle this entire series, is drop passes. Decent punt. No coverage downfield, oh boy. Nice tackle for Washington, and the Black Knights offense takes the field again, only 45 yards to the end zone. And they're going to run it. Oh, my Oh my goodness, Stevens. Woof. Army looking for a dub today. <laughs> oh, man. see what we can do here. Something. Anything. Oh my goodness. Why would you go for a deflection on that pass? He might have been able to take that to the house. Take off, and we get the stop. I think he got back to the line of scrimmage, though, so no sack for Sampson, the young defensive tackle. We're down to nine coming up. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe that I moved away from that, but what a hit. From Walden. Sit him down, son. Jars the ball loose, and it's fourth and nine. They're going to go for it. From the 29 yard line, you got to think they probably don't have a great kicker on the team. He's going to take off. Eh. 
Mike Stevens gets the stop. Let's go, defense. All right, now can we get something going on offense? Take off, get a first down maybe? Okay, good run, Sutherland. Three receivers, or three DBs on the right side. We're going to keep going that way anyway. Good running. Sutherland picks up eight more yards up the middle. I'm going to go... I want to give the ball to the fullback. Let's go triple option again. Might hand this off to Sack, the fullback. We got Stevenson back there at halfback. And that's going to be a first down for Sack. Too easy. Now, we'll try play action. Had three decent runs in a row. I'm hoping McCall can get deep on the right side, and I'm switching Simon to a streak as well. Simon, he's got him beat, and he's got it inside the five, down around the two or three yard line. First and goal, Marine Corps. Two and a half yard line. We got Christensen in at halfback, gonna try to give it to him. And my goodness, they get in there so fast. I don't know what he's pumped about, he got nothing. All right, let's try the off-tackle we scored on against Virginia in overtime. I don't think they're going to fall for it. Probably not. Nope. Terrible. So difficult. All right, third and goal. From the five, Sutherland can run if I need to. Jones, I'm trusting you. Oh my goodness, how do we not get that? <laughs> oh man. That is super frustrating. We're going to send on Mills for the field goal. Got to get some points here. I don't like coming away empty-handed. Mills 2 for 2 last game against Virginia. And he'll hit this one as well. It's 7-3 now in the second quarter here in Quantico, Virginia. Now, I'm not sure if we win this game, if um, we win the Commander-in-Chief trophy. I'll have to look at it all after the game. Uh, we did lose to Navy, though, and beat Air Force. But let's just focus on the task at hand, and that is beating the Black Knights. Jamison Hughes, what's going on, brother? Showing your support? I love it, man. Just hanging out, enjoying a nice little stream here. Oh, we're actually still in the first quarter. I thought we were in the second. My goodness. Nice tackle for Kwame Gatewood, and that will send us into the second quarter. We are down 7-3 to three against the 4-5 and five Army Black Knights. This is, I think, the best season that they've had in this series so far. Four wins. Going to draw. Nice tackle for Stevens. And brings up third down and six. I'm going to go cover three switch. Now, uh, they do like to run a lot of four receiver sets, but our linebackers have enough speed to where I'm comfortable. Oh, nice deflection by Kwani Gatewood. Six foot seven defensive tackle. My goodness. 
but I our linebackers have enough speed to where I'm comfortable having them out there against four receivers. Curtis back deep to return the punt. Not sure about this one. See how it goes. Oh, nice return. Oh, my goodness. Up to the 47-yard line. Setting the offense up in a good spot. I'm going to try the off-tackle play again. Oh, we're not in the goal line setting, so hopefully we can get to the outside here. McCall, you need to crash down on that linebacker for this play to have a chance at all. Oh, my goodness, Stevenson. One of the quickest spin moves I've ever seen. Wow. I'm surprised I didn't lose control of the player. All right, I'm going to try to hit Jones. Nope. Oh, nice deflection almost over his head. I was going to try to chuck that up to Jones, but... I didn't like how that looked in the secondary. Sutherland, six touchdowns, six interceptions on the season. See if this power option can work here. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. All you got to do is make one guy miss, Christensen. Instead, it's third down and eight. We're having a really, really tough time this season, well, in the second half of the season, converting third downs. Jones drops it inside the five. Of course he does. He has got, like, one of the worst set of hands on a receiver that I've ever seen in my life. Let's see, we're at the 38-yard line. We'll sky punt it. Last time we went for it at the 36-yard line, we didn't get it, and then Army just scored in like four plays on us, so. Let's trust the defense. Trust our guys as well to get down here and make a play on that. Did we just recover that? No way. <laughs> Let's go. Special teams for the win, boys. And girl, Ashley's still in the chat. <laughs> I appreciate you. I might have to call a timeout here. Nah, we're gonna run it. We're running it. Nope. Dang it. They don't they usually don't do goal line defense when we're at the five yard line, so that kinda messed it up right there for us. Alright, let's try it again. Power option. They're running man coverage. And Sutherland is going to sneak into the end zone. Touchdown, Marine Corps Patriots. We're going to take the lead over the Black Knights. All because of a beautiful play on special teams. To get us the football in great field position. Nice, quick, short touchdown drive. Two plays, five yards, 28 seconds. Love it. All right, I'm going to kick this off, and I'm going to walk to my fridge to get a drink, guys. So hopefully they don't score a touchdown on us. I'll cry. I'll do it. Listen to my fading voice. All right, I'm back. I'm here. All right, they only got to the 30. I'll take that. I'm parched. Baja Blast, Mountain Dew. I wish it was an official sponsor, but it's not. Mountain Dew, get a hold of me, would you? Send me an email. All right. <laughs> Papa Top, yes, sir, Jay. Yes, sir.
Play action. Oh, that's my fault. Get him, Stevens. That's definitely my fault. I was way too far on the inside. Boy, oh boy. That's that's not what I wanted to happen. Well, at least they got the crowd back into it. Alright. I guess I'll take that. Go back dive. Stevens. Makes the tackle. You better make every tackle for the rest of this drive, Stevens. I swear. Second and goal from the two. Extra point is up and it is good. Good. And they're going to kick out of bounds. Oh my goodness. Is the stream lagging for you guys at all? Or buffering? Let me know. Keep getting little notifications that's saying low bandwidth, so. I want to make sure you guys can still see it. Get that ball, McCall. Let's go. Good catch, buddy. Look at Vanderbilt. Zero and nine. My goodness. Right, let's, let's answer their touchdown drive with our own, shall we? Is it better now, Jay? Run, Sutherland! Man, if that was DeMarco McKelvey, he probably would have got all the way inside the 10-yard line. Cousin left, someone else showed up. Man, Marvin, you're just really popular today, buddy. McCall! Oh, he overthrew him. Come on, man. You got to make that pass. Dang it all the heck. All right. See if we can hit the tight end on the wheel. Maybe not. Get that. Nice catch by Stevenson. Let's go. First down. And our quarterback is exhausted. Got to be careful on this play. To the end zone. Oh, another drop touchdown. Nobody wants touchdowns today, I guess. Oh, my goodness. My God. What are you doing? Cousin was there to job on, even though he already has a well-paying job. My goodness. I mean, I guess there's nothing wrong with trying to upgrade, you know? And another dropped touchdown. I mean, what what do we got to do here to get in the end zone, huh? What are we doing? This receiving core is killing me. We are 0 for 4 on third down now. Somebody get open. Somebody do the thing with the ball. Oh, my goodness. This offense is just garbage. It's garbage, guys. We have 169 yards of offense for the culture. We're going to lose to Army because, you know, we're trash. Nice 
nice deflection. Let's go, Mullins. Hate doing your FCS Dynasty because you have to watch every single game. Welcome to my world, buddy. Now imagine when the EFL comes back, how many games I'll have to watch. Yeah, 32 teams. It's a full NFL schedule. It's all going to be simulated. Once I can figure out how to configure OBS on this laptop, I can bring the EFL back. Nice tackle on Burnett from Stevens, but he got the chains moving. Because I can't do the EFL without OBS because I won't be able to get it to full screen. I won't be able to use graphics or anything uh, for that series without it. So, Oh, almost picked off by Stevens. Come on, baby. Nobody told him to take a job an hour plus drive out of town. That's true, Marvin. That is true, buddy. Sometimes you got to, though. If the money's that good. Job I have an interview for on Wednesday next week. Oh, what a deflection, and it's intercepted by Norwood, the senior, on homecoming night. Let's go. Mullins with four deflections now. Beautiful. But yeah, the, the job that I'm interviewing for next Wednesday is, I think it's about an hour drive, but I'm going to be driving to my friend Jen's house, and then she'll be driving us the rest of the way. Man, how, how do we throw the ball in this game? Somebody tell me. Almost in season five, and just, we can't figure it out. We just can't do it. Sutherland, breaking some tackles. I mean, we can't really run the football either. Our, the only time we run the ball well is with our quarterback. Take off, Sutherland. Just move the chains, buddy. Dude is exhausted. I'm going to try to hit a corner route. We don't throw them too often because, well, they really just don't work that well. Actually, he's open. Oh, no way. Could you imagine if I caught? It wouldn't let me hit triangle with the quarterback. That would have been amazing. I don't think we've ever done anything like that on this channel. A quarterback catching his own pass. That would have been sick. No way. Sutherland, you're killing me with these throws, man. I just, I have no answers for throwing the ball in this game. Just get three points. Regear, I'm trying, buddy. <laughs> I truly am. Oh, here we go. This could be good. Run Sutherland. Oh, it's a touchdown. Touchdown, Patriots. Let's go. 21-yard touchdown scamper for the freshman quarterback. That was beautiful. Love to see that. I didn't know he had it in him. Thought for sure he was going to get caught. Especially since he was tired. All right, we're up 17-14 now. After the Norwood interception, our senior middle linebacker. Making one of the best plays of his career here in front of the hometown crowd. And Quantico Virginia. Sutherland versus Brady, your money's on Sutherland. <laughs> I hope so. He does have some speed. I think his speed's in the 70s. As opposed to Brady and his, like, 52 speed. 
if that. Stick around after this game, guys. We're going to be taking on somebody in a bowl game. And incomplete pass. Looks like a might of... Oh, my goodness. Look at the quarterbacks. Combined 9 of 36 for 242 yards. That is terrible. Just trash. Second down and 10. I'd like to get the ball back again. Try to get some more points on the board before the half is over. Nice tackle by Stevens. Let's go. Third down and eight. I'm going to go cover three again. I like running cover three, especially if the other team has a mobile quarterback. Because that means I can stay close to the line of scrimmage with Stevens. And he is pretty good at tackling. All right, we're going to get the ball back again here. With about a minute left to play, Curtis back deep to return the punt. Come on, get that block, would you? Nope. All right, bet. Man. They're just, they're such sure tacklers. It's crazy to me. That, sir. I might have Walker deep right. Oh my goodness, he caught it. Let's go. Money. No huddle. Uh-oh. I don't like this. That guy's fast. All right, we're going to call a timeout. Sutherland just got absolutely rocked. What a hit. All right. Second down. Seven yards to go from the 22. Don't feel comfortable kicking a field goal from here. In the end zone, McCall. Oh, nice deflection. Bang it all to heck. The DBs are just so good. All right, third and seven. We're two for seven on third down. I mean, we just cannot convert third downs this second half of the season. It's actually sad. All right, we're going to try a field goal, I guess. That drive just died right there. This will be a 39-yard field goal try for Mills. We made two last games, one for one in this game. Oh, they went off sides. That'll make it easier. So now we got a 34 yard field goal. We got a lot of wind against us though. I did not get the power and accuracy like I wanted, but Mills gets it up and through. It's 20 to 14, let's go. Oh my goodness, we're four for four the last two games, kicking field goals. Didn't even get full power or uh, full accuracy on that kick either. And Randy Jones, our, I think number four wide receiver, has injured his arm on the play. Feels real bad. Imagine we get the ball back again. Imagine. Oh my goodness. Okay, 25. I see you, buddy. Army calling a timeout. 22 seconds left. They're on their own 40-yard line. I'm going to coach up the secondary a little here. They definitely need it. High snap for the quarterback. Oh my goodness, where's my help down here? I'm 
I'm sitting back there covering two receivers by myself. Hey, as long as you're having fun, Rigear, it's all that matters, buddy. Nothing wrong with watching a million games, you know? Oh, Stevens, come on, baby. You gotta pick that. Oh, I'm sick to my stomach. Jones out for a quarter with a bruised elbow. No way. There is no shot Landry just missed that tackle like that. Bruh. On that little guy? Are you kidding me? Army about to take a one point lead with five seconds left in the first half. Crazy. Wow, that's the closest I've ever come to blocking an extra point in this game. Alright, we do get the ball to start the second half. I'm not too worried. Two seconds left. Uh, what do we want to do here? Little wheel route. Now yeah, we'll go play action read. Why not? Fake the run, chuck it deep to Walker. What's the worst that happens? Pick six? Why not? Nope. All right. So we're down one point. Quarterback play is atrocious on both sides. Well, we're losing to Army 21-20 as we head into the locker rooms. Oh, man, I just don't know what to do here. Minus nine for the quarterback. Do we go back to McDowell, guys, or do we go to Wilson? Wilson is more agile, better acceleration. McDowell's got better carry. Oh, man. All right, well, we're going to put McDowell back in. Why not? He's a senior. We'll let him finish out his final home game. Losing to Army, shameful. Listen, Marvin, we lost to Duke this year, all right? After they gave up, like, 94 points. I'm not ashamed to lose to anybody. But we are going to win this game. In McDowell, we trust. Let's go, baby. I'm going to send Simon deep on the left. Catch it. Let's go. And there's a flag for holding. So it comes back. Love it. Love it. Who is Watts? Who is that? Is that my center? There's no way that's my center, right? I think it is. The best offensive lineman we have. No, that's the left tackle. True freshman. Okay, that makes more sense that he would hold. Wheelies. Come on, McCall. Nice catch, buddy. I'm going to go no huddle. Because that play formation that they were stuck in right there does not bode well for them, I think. Nice block. Get that. Let's go, Walker. Oh, that was pretty. No huddle again. Let's get it. I mean, Jones, do you want to do anything today? What are you doing, my guy? I mean, this dude's asleep at the wheel. Oh my goodness, he caught a ball. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jones has completed a catch. No, why are we out of no huddle? Oh, come on, game. Getting the game to actually do no huddle right now, or in this game in general, is pretty tough sometimes, and I don't understand why. Up to Goss in the end zone. Nice deflection. 
Alright. Let's get excited. Bet. You know, we do have halfbacks on this team, but I just forget, you know? Because they don't do anything. They're just bad. Well, it's not that they're bad, it's just the offensive line is not great. So it's difficult for them to do anything. Oh, nice juke move by Stevenson up to the 16 yard line. That'll bring up third down and four. I think what I'm going to do is. I'm going to do a play action, but I think I'm going to hand it off to the halfback. We're getting crazy with it, guys. We're getting weird. Maybe not. Might not work. Oh, we're doing it. And Stevenson, I think he got the first down. Let's go. I think maybe he uh, runs out of the shotgun or the way to go. I don't know. Still trying to figure it out. This could work. Triple option right side. That lineba linebacker might be a problem there, though. Oh my goodness. That just took forever for McDowell to get out from under center. Second down and nine. I'm going to send Walker on a slant. Got him! He actually, you know, caught the football, which is very nice. At the one yard line. I'm gonna send him on a slant again. Got him. Touchdown, Patriots. Let's go. We're going for two. Because, well, it'd be nice to be up by seven points. I'm gonna go slants. Might take off with it. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh boy, this is not good. Not good. Oh my goodness. That was worst case scenario. Let the guy through up the middle. Force the roll again. But we're still up by five points here in the third quarter. Unfortunately, we have to kick against the wind uh, in the fourth quarter. Which is unacceptable. I do not approve of that. <laughs> Offense is clicking a little bit though. We got over 100 yards rushing, 230 passing yards in the game. So, I am liking that. Just need our, our pass defense to do something. Uh-oh. That was a really crazy play. Get it together, defense. Come on, baby. Draw play. And a decent run. I don't know why our runs don't work like that. It doesn't matter what I do with the sliders. It, I just can't seem to get an organic run game going. He's taking off. Tries to spin Norwood out. And he is unsuccessful. They're down seven coming up. What are we doing? Oh my goodness. There's just nobody on the entire right side of the field. Vanderbilt about to be 0-10. That is just not good. Wow. I'm not sure. I don't think they have Jake Cutler anymore either. I think he was a senior last season. Nice play. Let's go. Walden with the sack. That's a big, big loss of seven. And Max 
Maxwell comes back for the reception. Picks those seven yards right back up. I'm going to send Walden on a blitz again. See if he can create some pressure off the right side there. We need it. Black Knights need 10 yards. No shot. Oh my goodness. Maxwell is killing us. Four for 149 yards. How? I don't understand how he's just like taking that from me. Receivers having a tough time here in the hot routes and whatnot. And number 25, the halfback, and gets a few yards. Brings up second and seven. And, oh my goodness, that was dropped. We didn't even make a play on it. All right, I'm blitzing Walton again. This is the play you got the sack on. And a great deflection at the line of scrimmage. Was it Walden? I don't think that was Walden that made the play. It looked like a lineman. Yep, that was LJ Carroll. The junior defensive end with the deflection. So we hold him to a field goal. So a good stop by the defense after giving up a couple nice pass plays there. Field goal is up and it is good. Two point ball game. That's a 11 play, 68 yard drive. Took just under two minutes off the clock. It's 26-24 in Quantico, Virginia. Come on, Curtis. Come on, baby. Dang, no blocking. <laughs> Terrible. Starting the drive from the 12-yard line. Going to go with an option. Probably not going to work, but we're going to see. Okay, that worked decently. Going to go goal line, fullback dive. Imagine Sap just bursts through the line. Touchdown. That would be insane. Not going to happen, but that would be insane. He does move the chains, though. What do you want? ISO? We'll try ISO. See what happens, coach. It's Stevenson. And he's going to get eight or nine yards. That was actually a pretty good run. 127 yards on the ground this game. I'm going to go with another ISO, actually. See if we can't move the chains again. Uh, this time it's Christensen. And he will move the chains yet again for the offense. Let's go. Quarterback choice. A little read option. That's what that is. Left guard cannot block the defensive tackle for more than .01 seconds, but we do get three yards. I'm going to try hitting with play action now. Been running it pretty decent on this drive. See if we can hit Walker or Jones on the right side, maybe. Or I could hand it off to Stevenson. Oh my goodness, nice. Nice juke move for Stevenson. Picks up four yards, maybe. They're down to three coming up. They want triple option out of the goal line. 
I don't know if I like that formation for this situation. Let's go power option or the I formation instead. We're going to switch it to the left side. And we're going to get the first down and then some. Oh, McDowell takes a shot at the 44-yard line. But it's a first down. Oof, what a tackle. All right, what do we want now, coach? Not zone? No, I'm not doing a zone read. I'll do a halfback last, though. I don't like the zone reads because the offensive line kind of moves in a weird way. And usually the halfback will get taken down uh, around the line of scrimmage or a loss almost every time. And Stevenson carrying a defensive lineman forward for seven yards, I think. Yep, second down and three. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter. Get your fours up in the chat if you're still here, folks. We're up 26-24 in our Commander-in-Chief Trophy battle against the Army Black Knights. Second down three from the 37-yard line. I'm going to switch Simon to a streak. Nope, oh, Sap is open. The fullback inside the 15-yard line. Let's go, big fella. McDowell doing pretty good here in the second half. Not too shabby. What a laser beam. Let's go triple option, same formation. My goodness, why can we not block for more than a split second on run plays? I don't get it. Second down and eight from the 11. It was a 10 play, 77 yard drive over three minutes off the clock. Run McDowell! And McDowell down inside the one-yard line. First and goal, Patriots. Let's go. You know where we're going. Sap, the big fullback. Got to get him in the end zone. And Sap. We'll punch it in. Let's go. Extra point will make this a nine-point ball game. Don't give me the stream at 144p. Oof, that's tough, Marvin. Perfect kick from Mills. The extra point is up and good. We are on top by two scores after a 12-play, 88-yard drive. Took 339 off the clock. Beautiful. A two-score win would be fantastic after all these one-score victories and one-score losses that we've had. Oh, nice play by McClendon. This is our best offensive output we've had in like five, six games since we lost McKelvey. Pass defense still sucks. But I don't know what happened there. We'll figure it out. Nice deflection by Albert Washington. He was wide open. What a catch by Robinson. Wow. That little guy is a baller. Balling. Come 
Come on, get that. Oh, how do you let him catch that? He didn't even make a play on the ball, Brandon Johnson. Dang it. Man, our, our pass defense is giving me a headache. I can't even get the crowd volume up past two bars right now. That's how poorly our defense is playing right now. Man. Almost 300 yards passing for the Black Knights. Third down, get him. And we got him, let's go. Kwame Gatewood, his fourth tackle of the ball game. Fourth and two coming up. And they're obviously gonna go for it here. Down two scores with four minutes and 16 seconds left in the game. Pull back dive, get him. No way. Dang it all the heck. And Virginia loses to Virginia Tech, so they're, they just keep on sliding down. After we finish up this game, we'll go see who won the Commander in Chief trophy this season. Now, we won it last season. No, we did not recover it. Oh my goodness. Come on, boys. Do something. Anyway. Same play. I'm stuck on a <laughs> I'm stuck on a ref in the secondary. Norm Blunt gets the tackle for a loss. Big play by the senior defensive end. Yeah, so we're going to have uh, three new starters on defense. Nice deflection for Brennan Johnson. Five-star freshman free safety making a play. Third and goal from the 11 now. We got deep path right. Oh my goodness, Maxwell is a beast. I was all over him. I mean, look at this throw. Just underneath my hand. Wow. Army over 400 yards of offense. What happened to our number one defense? We lost a quarterback and the whole team took a dump. Extra point, up and good for Army. 11 plays, 76 yard drive, 235 off the clock. And we are up by two points, 33-31 here in Quantico, Virginia. Pretty much went nowhere. I would like to get a touchdown here. Look at all that space. 20 plus yard run for McDowell. Oh my goodness, can I get a block please? Anybody? Throw it up, oh, what a play! Christensen, oh! Makes everybody miss inside the 30 yard line. What a run after the catch for the freshman halfback. Let's go. That was pretty. Some of the best moves I've seen any of our players ever make that are not named McKelvey. Oh my goodness, nice pitch. 
Stevenson, he's going to get nine yards. The run game keeps on churning this time. Let's go. Fullback blast, second down and one. Going to run some of this clock out as much as I can. The fullback will move the chains down to the 14-yard line. Let's go to halfback blast. We can get the time down to about a minute and a half here. I'm going to switch the run to the right side for Stevenson. miss Army finally calling their timeouts now we can still get a first down got to get to the four yard line I'm not doing fullback over we will do fullback blast though what a game absolutely this has been a heck of a rivalry matchup today Sap gets the carry and gets a couple maybe Do I dare throw it? No, actually, the coach picked the exact play that I wanted to run. Power option. I don't like that the corner's still out there on the right side, but let's just get the first down. We're close to it. Do we go for it? I think we do. Need about a yard and a half here. Try to draw them off sides. And Sap is going to get the first down. Yes, sir. Let's go. Risky play pays off. My goodness. It was so close. Yes, it was. As soon as I snapped the ball, I, I almost regretted the play call. And Stevenson is going to punch it into the end zone for another touchdown for the Patriots. An extra point will pretty much end this game. It'll make it a two-score game yet again. Good run by the freshman halfback. Of course, our poor, our poor defense is going to have to go back out onto the field against a team that just can do no wrong in the passing attack right now. Extra point from Mills is up and good. It's 40 to 31 with 47 seconds left. That was a nine play, 80 yard drive, 224 off the clock. Oh my god. I know, Jay, this game has been crazy, right? Nice tackle by Bryant. 44 ticks left on the clock. I'm just going to do nickel for the rest of the game because Darius Curtis is out there. He's a senior. His final home game. I've been running 4 3 all game. They're going to take off with this. What are they doing? They have no timeouts left. They're down two scores. I don't know how that was not picked off by Mullins. He's had three or four opportunities this game to get a pick. Come on, boys. Throw it deep. 
And it's picked off by Brandon Johnson, the freshman, and that is going to do it. We're going to get the dub against the Army Black Knights. Going to come out in the best formation in all of football. Victory formation, that is. Send the seniors out with a win at home. The seniors on the team include McDowell, our quarterback that played today. Our center, I cannot remember his name for the life of me. And we got Norm Blunt at defensive end, Kwame Gatewood at defensive tackle, Underwood at middle linebacker, and those are the seniors. So after losing four straight, they had two really good games. A uh, nice little three overtime victory against Virginia in their stadium. Come back home, finish out the season strong. That's our eighth win on the year. And now we get to see where we're going bowling. Take a quick gander at the stats. We had 505 yards of offense. My goodness, the rushing attack actually worked in this game. Of course, Army is a lesser opponent, so I expected to be able to run the football a little bit better. Passing, I mean, completions per attempt is just, it's just never going to be good. Not in this game. 05, the passing is terrible. That is the biggest thing I've learned playing this game. We had three takeaways, two picks, and a fumble recovery. 17 minutes time of possession for the Patriots. They actually had the lead at halftime, 21-20. And again, hey, we were two for two field goals. Two games in a row now. I think we're going to go with McDowell in our final, in our bowl game. I mean, he was 7 of 8, 133 yards and a touchdown, 87%. I think that's the best passing game any of our quarterbacks have ever had. One incompletion. Sutherland had 75 rushing yards as well. He had two touchdowns. But he just could not, he couldn't throw the ball into water if he was in the middle of the ocean. Sapp had a touchdown. Stevenson, Sutherland with two. Receiving Michael Walker, 4 for 70 with a score. Lee McCall, 2 for 43. Randy Jones, 2 for 59. Christensen at 31 yards. Simon at 1 for 48. Uh, again, a couple drops here. Three drops for the receiving core. 11 tackles for John Stevens. Oh my goodness. Kwame Gatewood, 4 tackles. Douglas Sampson at 4 as well. Bunch of tackles for a loss. There's 5. Two sacks. Michael Norwood had a sack. He also had a pick and a tackle for a loss. Not a bad way to go out for the senior. Probably his most complete game of his career, honestly. And Brandon Johnson had the game ceiling interception. Lots of deflections here. Uh, again, we don't get a force fumble. It was a special teams play where we recovered the punt. All right. Eight and four. We should jump back up into the top 25 rankings after that win. And it is storming heavily here at my house right now. My goodness. The rain is coming down like crazy. I'm going to go ahead and save it right now. And we'll simulate the rest of the regular season. We'll see where we're going bowling, and then we'll get into that game. Now, if we win that game, like, it's a must win. Like, we have to win it. It'll boost us up to a four-star program. Which would really help us out in recruiting. We obviously, what do we have? The number two recruiting class last offseason? as a three-star program, so imagine what we could do if we were a four-star or a five-star, six-star school, you know, I mean, Woo! 
Woo! You guys hear that thunder? My goodness. It has been doing this all day. We had a couple hours there during the stream where it was all right. Oh, oh my. Don't move to New York. I'm telling you guys, don't do it. We get six months of snow, like two or three months of this. July is like, I mean, we're in the desert. August and September, those are the only good months here. I hate how long this takes to save. Come on, baby! I mean, we got a shot at a nine-win season, which is really good, considering this is our first year in the ACC. We had five wins in conference and three losses. Obviously, the Duke loss, I mean, that's inexcusable. But, you know, we, we didn't have McKelvey. We're trying to figure out the offense with somebody else at quarterback. It just, nothing was working. See, West Virginia is still undefeated. Would love to see them win a national championship. Like, in real life, too, you know? It's crazy that they've never, I don't think they've ever even been to a national championship. They were actually on my list for teams to use um, for the 03 Dynasty. Ultimately, I ended up going with uh, Mississippi State. All right, what do we got here? Is there week 16? Okay, Navy. All right, let's see if we won the Commander-in-Chief Trophy. We beat Army. We lost the Navy. Destroyed Air Force. All right. Air Force beat Navy. Did they play Army? They didn't even play Army? So they lose it by default. They don't even have a chance at winning it. I think I win by default, right? Oh no, because I have two wins, but... Okay, so... I need Army to beat Navy, and I'll win it. I can't believe Army didn't play Air Force. What is up with that? Come on, Army. They won it! We win the Commander-in-Chief Trophy, baby! Let's go! Two straight seasons. We hoist the trophy. Beautiful. I mean, that quarterback is really good for Army. I mean, not even going to lie. He was carving us up. Alright, so we are, again, the winners of the Commander-in-Chief Trophy. That's two straight seasons now after the first two years we... Oh, year one, we got beat up by Air Force and Navy. Beat Army. And the next season, I think we beat... Did we beat two of them? I can't remember. Played so many games. I'm so happy that Army won that game. I'm so happy. West Virginia, 11-0. And, and they do not have a conference championship game. I think they're going to be in the national championship game, guys. Let's go, Mountaineers. Go get you some hardware. Are you guys hearing this thunder right now? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, Miami, let's see what you do. 57 to three. Wow, so I think it's gonna be Miami versus West Virginia. Obviously, I'm gonna root for Miami, which is sad, because I also want West Virginia to win one. But not against my Canes. I wish there was an ACC title game, but there's only 11 teams. So unfortunate. 
I think it's, um, 06 is when... Uh, who is it? Who is it that joins the ACC to make it eligible for a conference championship game? I can't remember. All right, here are your conference championship games. Miami of Ohio uh, versus Western Michigan in Kalamazoo, Michigan for the MAC title. SEC title game in Atlanta, Georgia. Number 19, Arkansas taking on number 9, Tennessee. And the Big 12 championship in Kansas City, Missouri. Number 3, Kansas State taking on number 6, Texas. I'm going to simulate the ranked games first just so we can see them. Tennessee wins the SEC. 38-25 over the Razorbacks. And the Big 12 title goes to the Texas Longhorns. Not even close. 49-7. to Get wrecked, Wildcats. That's crazy. And Miami, Ohio, I think they just won that. See who we get for our bowl game. Come on, baby. Give us somebody good. Gonna see where we finished in the ACC as well. I think uh, we were fourth, I think. Yep, Miami, Ohio won that easily, 41-13. John Stevens has won the Jim Thorpe Award. That's our freshman free safety who is actually starting at strong safety. Beautiful. And Chester McLaurin, the junior halfback for West Virginia with 21 touchdowns and over 1,350 yards of offense it is going to be your Heisman winner, and it's not even close. Nearly double the votes over Kyle Wright, which, I mean, come on. <laughs> Kyle Wright, stop it. Wake Forest halfback got on there. And Iowa State quarterback, okay. And we're going to be going to the Continental Tire Bowl, taking on Pittsburgh, who is 6-5. and five. This is a bowl game I don't think I've ever been in. And we are 23rd in the country at 8-4. Pittsburgh is 6-5. It's not a New Year's Day Bowl, or New Year's, yeah, New Year's Eve Bowl, I should say, which is disappointing, but that's all right. Let's go see where we finished in the ACC standings. And, wow, we actually finished fifth. Did we not beat... Virginia Tech and Wake Forest I'm pretty sure we beat both of them did we not if we did then we get third I don't know why it has us down there at fifth but all right then all right all Americans I th I'm pretty sure we have all Americans I would assume so first team all Americans who we got it's got to be John Stevens, right? Yes, sir. He had 12 interceptions in the regular season. That is phenomenal. 66 tackles, one for a loss, it says. One tackle for a loss. Second team All-Americans. Who we got? Anybody? Probably not. All right, no second teamers. Freshman All-American? we got to have some, right? John Stevens, for sure. Or does he not get to get there? No, he does. All right. So we also got freshman All-American. All-ACC first team. We've got just John Stevens. What about second team? Sorry if I'm going too fast, but I don't care about other teams. So, Hey, our kicker. <laughs> what? Yo, we were 14 of 18 this season, guys. 39 of 39 extra points. I mean, did I not improve my kicking game? Huh? Come on. I didn't think we did that good, to be honest with you. 14 of 18. Only a long of 38, but you know what? I'll take it, man. That's a pretty good season. We got a kicker. 
All ACC. That is wild. <laughs> Holy crap. Kentucky quarterback wins the Maxwell. Okay. But Narek, we didn't... He had 21 sacks? What? Bruh. No shot. 21 sacks, 3 force fumbles, and 1 recovered. With 98 tackles. I'm not even mad that we didn't win it now. What a beast. My word. That is... <laughs> that's insane. I got 14 touchdown catches. Jeez Louise. Alright guys, my lights just flickered. Oh boy. I'm gonna save this. Oh boy. I, I think I'm actually gonna have to end the stream, guys. Please forgive me. I don't want to lose the stream though, guys. Crap. Or do I chance it? I'm chancing it. Please, baby Jesus. Please help me. I just hope it saves before the power goes out. If it does. Or else we'll have corrupt data. You know, we don't want that. Come on, sweet baby Jesus, don't do this to me. I'm surprised the stream honestly didn't go out when my lights flickered and everything. That is wild. I think the thunder stopped. Maybe that was it. Nope, that's not it, guys. <laughs> I get up to look out my window. As soon as I get to the window, just thunder clapping some angel cheeks up in the sky. Alright, so we saved it. Oh, and look at this, guys. Greatest games, it, it just doesn't register them in this game for some reason. We've definitely had a lot of greatest games that were worthy, but it doesn't register them at all in this game. And I don't, I don't like it. Alright, let's simulate some bowl games. TCU beats Troy State, it looks like. I cannot believe the weather right now. It has been doing this since, I think, 6.30 this morning. Wow, that was actually a good game. 17-14. Troy State played a full schedule. 13 games. I like that. I hate how some teams, you know, they somehow get roped into a 11-game schedule. I, and it's a lot of the teams, too. That was a good game. All right, Tangerine Bowl, this is what we were projected to play. All right, UAB and Nevada in the Fort Worth Bowl. Wow, that wasn't even close. 47-24, Nevada finishes with a 9-3 record. UAB finishes 6-6. Six six. Oregon versus Utah, future Pac-12 rivalry, basically. And Oregon hangs 60 points on the Utes. 60 to 35 victory for the Ducks. SMU, USF in the Hawaii Bowl. I did not see who won that one. And USF wins it. They finish 7-5 on the year. SMU finishes 6-6. Six six. 
Now it's time for our game, the Continental Tire Bowl. We're going to go back and look at these simulated games real quick before we start ours. So the NPC Computers Bowl, Florida State crushes Fresno State 58-14. North Texas wins a good one against Miami, Ohio. The MAC champions, they lose it 15-14. What a game. Ole Miss beats Iowa State 37-14 in the Independence Bowl. And in the Inside Bowl, Rutgers beats Washington State by 1, 21-20. Ohio State beats Missouri in the Alamo Bowl, 42-30. Louisiana Tech beats Idaho, 28-24 in the Silicon Valley Classic. And that leads us to our game. Now, I actually want the commentators to do the entire intro, and then we'll turn them off. So, let's see. Do I have to do this? Right? This play-by-play -play is on. Well, actually, I am going to save it one more time. Just because we're all the way up to our game. And then, uh, we're going to try to weather the storm here and play our bowl game uh, through a massive thunderstorm that is just destroying upstate New York right now, at least my area. And if we can get through that, then we're going to do the off-season as well. I wish it didn't take three and a half days to save the game. There we go. Alright, boys. Here's the matchup. Pittsburgh, they've lost three straight to end the season. Wow. They're ranked 42nd in the country. Our pass defense, I mean... It's been really bad. It's been going downhill for the last six games, really. But our offense, we got our offense back up into the 60s. It was teetering, it was getting close to the 80s at one point, but this should be a good game, though. It was Pittsburgh Big East in this game, I believe. All right, let me post this in the Discord again. Post it again. I also have to get a phone charger. Man, that thunder. It's still thundering, but we're, we're going to try it, guys. Let's get it. The commentators are actually going to talk or what, but we'll see. I'm going to turn my TV volume on for a second, so don't be alarmed if you hear it twice. Man, that thunder. I just want to make sure that it's actually going to have the commentators talking. It's the yes, sir. All right, there we go. At least you guys can hear it. It's going to be freezing temperatures throughout the game today between the Patriots and the Pittsburgh Panthers. And here come the Panthers.
Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreit here to carry out the mission of bringing you excellent commentary to match the great play we expect to see in this bowl game. The Patriots come into this game expecting a win. I tend to agree with that. How about you, Herbie? Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you on this one, Brad. The away team has your prototypical safety, and he'll show the nation why in this one. You'll see him covering receivers downfield, making plays behind the line of scrimmage. The guy's everywhere, and he's the reason I'm picking them to win this game. I agree with you, and I'm going to tell you why. The away team should have a lot of success passing the football, and the only thing that can stop this offense in this game is themselves. Kirk, that's not going to happen, my friend. Thanks, guys. Let's take it down to the field and get ready for the game. Don't mind me trying to uh, plug my phone in before it dies so I can actually talk to you guys. If I can find the spot to plug it in. No, I can't, apparently. Awesome. Well, we'll see how that goes. All right. Uh, we're going to go heads. And I'm going to turn the commentators back off. So you can hear my beautiful voice instead of theirs. And also start McDowell at quarterback. I forgot about that. I mean, trust me, I, I wish Sutherland was good enough right now. He's just not. Sadly. I will have him as the backup, though. Landry. This could be his final game as well. Nice return. Uh, he's a junior, but he's really good, so we might see him go pro. Let's go power option. First play of the game. See how this works. Wow. I mean, Sap, if you actually knocked him to the ground right there, that would have been a really good play. Unfortunately, uh, we lost three yards, buddy. I'm going to go quarterback choice. That's read option. I've been liking these shotgun runs lately. They've been working decently. We got, what, four or five yards out of that one? So we might look to expose their defense with some of those kind of plays. We really got to find somewhere to plug my phone in. <laughs> I don't want it to die. Run, McDowell! We're going for it. Final game of the season, we're doing it. I don't even care. About a yard and a half to go. We've not been good on fourth downs this season. But you know what? I just don't care, guys. We're going to do it. McDowell's fast enough. He's got it. That guy, however, is extremely fast. Oh, my goodness. He caught me really quickly. All right. Uh, quarterback's tired. Already. Of course, he did just run... Two different plays in a row. See if we can hit Walker on the wheel. Nope. I don't think that was a catch, was it? Nope. That's unfortunate. All right, let's go back to a shotgun play here. Read option. Could be good. Man, if only these guys weren't so fast. It's going to bring up a third and nine. We are tired. Quarterback is exhausted. I hate having to run around with him so much, but until the offensive line improves, it's just all we have to do, you know? 101st on third down this season. Wow. That's bad. I mean, that's really bad. Throw it up to Walker. Dang it. You got no air underneath that pass. And we're going to have to punt it away. 
unfortunately. I'm just going to call this guy Geronimo because it just sounds better than his name. Decent punt from Geronimo. Can we get down here and maybe tackle him, perhaps? Anybody? Clipping. That'll back them up to their own 11-yard line. See what this defense can do. Norm Blunt in his final game of his career. Kwame Gatewood. Mr. Norwood at middle linebacker as well. I mean, we might lose Carroll at defensive end. We might lose Landry at corner. Uh, we are losing Darius Curtis, who is the nickel corner as well after this game. And he's been a mainstay on this team for, what, four seasons? You know, returning kicks, returning punts. Nice tackle, Stevens. Let's go. The Jim Thorpe Award winner. Making a nice stop. Bringing up third down and six. Play action. No, wow, they actually handed that off. I didn't want to get burnt deep again, so I dropped back. But he actually handed that off. That was a good play call. It's going to be a tough game against these Pit Panthers. I might have to turn my PS3 on so I can charge my phone. Don't mind me. Computer's playing defense, guys. Just for a second. Just to see how it feels. Yep, got to turn this bad boy on. All right. Beep. That's not good. Come on, Landry. You got to not get destroyed like that, buddy. Oh, boy. There goes that beautiful pass defense again. I mean, look at him. Why did he not turn around until he was 10 yards past him? Wild. Fifty-two yard bomb. Oh my goodness, Landry. That should have been a pick six. This dude's killing me right now. If this is your last game, I mean, you better not play like this for the whole game. Because we're going to be in trouble. Again, we need this win to move up to a four-star program. Nice tackle, Washington. Third and short coming up. Go defense. Option. Oh no. I mean what what else am I supposed to There was a clipping there on Norm Blunt and they didn't call it. Ref, you gotta call that, buddy. That's unfortunate. Easy touchdown for Finley. And the Pitt Panthers going to go on top 6 nothing here in the first quarter of the Continental Tire Bowl. 89-yard drive. Is that what that was? Dang. Feels bad. Nine play, 89 yard drive, 227 off the clock. And on top, seven, nothing. 
What stadium are we even in right now? I didn't even notice where we were going. No way, Landry. Oh, man. Unreal. Not a good start. There you go, Mullins. Nice deflection. Counter. Good run. Great blocking. Oh my goodness. Pitt came to play today. That was the best counter play I've ever seen in this game. I mean, Norwood, what are you doing? I don't know why he didn't try to tackle him. Toasted right now. 14 nothing. Who is this? I wanted him to spin back to the right. Well, that didn't work. I don't even know who that guy is. got McKnight back from injury. Oh, what a throw to McCall down to the 40-yard line. Beautiful pass from McDowell. That was pretty. Not doing halfback dive. McKnight, oh my goodness, he caught that. Took a huge hit, but he was able to hang on to the football. Coach is picking some decent plays on this drive. McKnight again down to the 10-yard line. This dude's a monster. I've missed him. Our offense has definitely missed him a lot. McDowell, three of five, 66 yards on this drive. Gonna try to hit him, hit him with a triple option here. Oh, this is money. Touchdown, Patriots, let's go. Beautiful run, great drive. From the red shirt senior quarterback McDowell. Mills remains perfect on the season for extra points. Was that 40 of 40, I think? Let's go. Let's try to play some defense. <laughs> Haven't been able to do that at all in the last six, seven games. Oh, it was not a good kick. Yeah, it could have been worse. Let's go Parsons. What do you got for me? Oh, nice tackle, actually. All right. Kind of just double punched him in the face. <laughs> I'll take it, I guess.
Got to slow down this offense somehow. Anytime I see four receivers, I'm going to go to nickel just to get a little extra speed out there because these guys are very fast. Nice deflection by Norwood over the middle. Intended for Bradshaw. And that'll bring up third down and six. We can go back to the 4-3. I'm going to send Walden on a blitz right here. Hopefully he can get in there. Make a play. Send up a screen. Get him, boys. Let's go. Big time stop for the defense. I don't know how McDowell has the best completion percentage out of any quarterback on our team in team history. When he doesn't have the best arm at all. Makes no sense to me, but I guess I'll take it. 50% in his career, or on the season at least. Darius Curtis. The return. And we're going to have to fair catch that at the 44-yard line. I'm not doing slants. I'm going to do play action, fake toss. We're going to see if McKnight can beat this corner again. He's been doing pretty decent against him in this game. Or we can just take off with McDowell, get the first down, and then some. Inside the 40-yard line. He's up to 42 yards and a touchdown in the game. There's nobody. They ran man coverage across the board, so nobody out there to bring him down. Over the... Nice catch by Walker. Choice again, a little read option. and only gets a couple on the play. All right, third down and two. Let's go triple option. Let's switch it. No, I don't want to switch it. We're going to hand it off to the fullback here. And Sap, I think he's going to move the chains. Yes, sir. Big time run for the big fella. Let's see, we're at the 27. Oh, my goodness, we almost caught that. I didn't even hit the button to throw that either. Alright, this is a big play. Third and 15. McCall! Oh, he, oh my goodness, he hung on to it. Let's go! Beautiful. Go back to the ground game now. See, how does he tackle me so fast right there? That is so crazy to me. I should be able to hit that hole. Second down and nine. Cut. 
Take off McDowell. All right, we got about six yards on that carry. Third down and three coming up. Now here is where I want to hand it off to the halfback on a play action. This could work with Stevenson. Run, Stevenson! Out of bounds around the one, one or two yard line. And now we go to the big fella, Mr. Sapp. First and goal. And Sapp is going to punch it in for the touchdown. We're going to tie this up with the extra point from Mills. Extra point is good. 11 play, 56 yard drive, 336 off the clock for the Patriots as we tie this thing back up. And a really good kick from Geronimo Jones here. It's not his name, but that's what he's getting called. Fullback Finley, he does not get much. I think he got back to the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten coming up. I'm gonna send Norwood on a blitz right up the middle. Toss play. And a really good play from Mullins. Let's go. Third down and ten coming up. Right. We'll cover two out of nickel formation. Number two defense in the land. We were number one for the longest time, and then pass defense just Cut took on. a dump on us. Cut on. Cut. And the receiver was actually blocking Landry, so we're going to get the stop. That was really an odd-looking play over there, but I'll take it. Curtis back deep to return it. And we're going to have to fair catch this at the 46 yard line. And I want to go play action. First play. Try to take a deep shot to McKnight. The safety is playing close to the line. This could be good. He's got him beat. McKnight make the play, and he does all the way down to the five-yard line first and goal Marine Corps. That is a beautiful thing. Free safety help. Couldn't get there in time. And that's a big, big pickup. I'm going to hand this off to, I believe it's Stevenson. Call. Can I make him pass block from there or run, run block? I mean, nope. All right, well, hand it off. And Stevenson touchdown Patriots. We got the lead. Let's go. We were off to a really rough start. It's 14 nothing. We scored three straight touchdowns. Offense is clicking now. Looks like shotgun runs are the way to go. That was a play action pass, but you could still hand it off. So it's like an RPO in modern day football. Extra point from Mills, up and good. He remains perfect on the season. If 
finally finding some stuff that works on this offense. Oh, that was a terrible kick as far as power. Accuracy was good. We already have over 200 yards of offense. And that is almost picked off several times by Stevens and Washington. And of course Walden is the one celebrating over there. Alright buddy. Draw play. And a great tackle by Stevens, the Jim Thorpe winner. Brings up third down and seven. This could be a huge stop for the defense. And they get the stop. Kwame Gatewood tackles the receiver on a pass play. Don't see that very often. Darius Curtis back deep to return another punt. It is was a third of the game. Saving all of our timeouts. Not a very good punt. Gonna have to fair catch it at the 39 yard line. And now I'm gonna do slot wheels. Might be my favorite play in this entire game. Get that. What a throw and catch. Oh my goodness. That was pretty. See if they can handle the no huddle. Got him again. And Walker inside the 10 yard line. 192 passing yards to the right side of the field. Oh my goodness. McDowell, touchdown Patriots. What a quick touchdown drive. My word. McDowell having the game of his life right now. How long was that drive? Like 20 seconds, maybe? Mills extra point, up and good. It's 28-14 now. This game has turned very quickly against Pittsburgh. Oh, that's going to go out of bounds. My first bad kick in a while. It's all right, wouldn't be an Optimus Klein stream without a kickoff out of bounds. It's all right, they can have it at the 35. That's fine. High snap for the quarterback. Going to take a deep shot. Come on, Stevens. No way he caught that. Come on, I'm right there. That is so crazy to me. Five seconds left. 
just unplugged my like PS3. I think it may have had too much <laughs> too much internet stuff going on here. That may have been the result of the uh, or the the buffering of the stream. May have been the result for that. All right, we still got time to score here. Apologies if the stream was buffering at all for you guys. He's got him. Oh, he overthrew him. Oh, coach, you know what I like. The slot wheelies. Uh, overthrow to Walker. Alright. Third down and ten. Oh, almost caught it with Walker. Alright, we're going to have to punt it away. Hopefully they don't score any points here. Not a whole lot of time. That was a terrible drive. Three straight incomplete passes. Hate to see it. And they're at the 50-yard line. Daryl Jones, welcome back, buddy. Former Dallas Cowboy running back Marion Barber was found dead in his apartment. In oh my goodness, that is, that is terrible news. In Frisco, that's crazy, man. That is extremely unfortunate. I would have been so sad if they just caught that touchdown. Oh, McDowell, 192 yards passing this game. That, that is nuts. Cannot let them get a touchdown here. There's no way we can allow that, right? Let's go, Landry. That is huge. Woo. The junior corner. Coming up with the takeaway. Man, that quarterback has all day to throw it. Alright, we're just going to take one deep shot. Why not? Why not? We're going to McKnight. You know it. No, we're not. We're going Simon. And he comes down with it. Oh my goodness. Well, McDowell having a great game throwing the football. We are up 28-21 as we head into the locker rooms here in the Continental Tire Bowl against Pitt Panthers. We got 301 yards of offense, 230 in the air, 71 on the ground. That might go out of bounds to the right. Woo! My the X button just did not register at all on the accuracy. Like I hit it and it just kept going all the way. It's all right. Just less yards their offense can get on the drive. Counter. Nope. Play action. What? How? Oh my goodness. Pass defense is just killing me. I don't understand how I didn't make a play on the ball. Alright, we're going to send Curtis on a blitz from the right side corner spot. The nickel corner spot, that is. Cut. 
why is Stevens just standing there and throwing his hands up towards his face? Like, not even trying to make a play. That is so frustrating. Like any other time, he's going over there to pick it off. Or at least get his hands on it. Alright, they scored 14 straight, and then we scored 28 straight, and now they've scored 14 straight again. So it's been a streaky game. And that Panther logo, one of the worst logos I've ever seen in my life. It's just bad. I've never liked that logo. Alright, let's get some, some offense going, shall we? Regear, back in the chat. What's going on, buddy? Oh, I'm handing this one off. My receiver did not even try. Oh boy. Not exactly what I wanted to do on that play, but three guys chasing me down. Had to run for my life. Third down and seven. Gotta try to stop the bleeding here. Christensen on a streak. Imagine he gets open. Imagine. Oh my goodness, what a jump from Nick Dowell, and he moves the chains. Let's go. That was pretty. Come on, McCall. Oh my, how does he not get that ball to him? Oh, that would have been a nice gain too. Definitely a first down for sure. Let's try that same play just from a different formation. Throwing that one deep. Alright, third down again. Third and ten. Coach, I'm not doing that play. Stop it. I'm gonna send Simon deep. Safety is in the middle of the field. We got one on one coverage. He's got him beat so bad. Run, Simon! All the way inside the 20 yard line. What a play. The safety ran up towards the line of scrimmage. The cornerback bit on the pump fake. If only Simon was fast. <laughs> four trips to the red zone today, four touchdowns, baby. I would have cried if that was picked off. Literally just would have cried there. Second down and 10 from the 18. Come on, no way, no way. Oh my goodness. 
Unbelievable. That was wild. I'm going to try a sprint option here. Or a speed option, rather. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Christensen! Touchdown, Patriots! What a run! Let's go, freshman! No shot! <laughs> there is no way in heck that I think that he was going to score a touchdown on that play. That was unbelievable effort from the young guy. Let's go. Yeah, definitely, Rieger. That was, that was some nice moves he just put on there. This is a really high-scoring game right now. I like it. Nine plays, 78 yards, over two minutes off the clock. Resulting in a touchdown. McClendon. Let's get him. Oh, nice tackle. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe he dove that far for the stop. We have almost 400 yards of offense right now. We got to stop their passing attack, though. I don't know what is going on with our secondary, but it's not good. I know we have three freshmen starting out there, but they've been so great all season long. There we go. Let's go, John Stevens. Jim Thorpe Trophy winner. That is interception number 13 for the freshman. Pretty sure the record is 14. If I'm not mistaken. My offense is exhausted right now. And they're back out on the field that quickly. Oh my goodness, Christensen making two people look silly again. I mean, I'm going to do the same play. Stevenson's out there now. And Simon comes down with it inside the 10-yard line. Wow. We are just firing on all cylinders right now. This is beautiful. McDowell going crazy in this game. My guys are so tired. First and goal. And deflected at the line of scrimmage. So I'd rather have that than get sacked. Alright, what do we got here? Who is not dead tired? Besides everyone. I know Jones is not the best receiver, but he's the only one that is rested. And he caught the football. Let's go, baby. Down to the four. I'm going to go read option, a.k.a. quarterback choice. It's not going to work. You have to switch to a pass play here. Oh, McCall. Oh, hit him right in the hands. Dang it. That's all right. We'll get a field goal out of it at least. So, I'm, anytime we get some points, I'm alright with it. Mills on for the field goal try. And Mills is now 15 of 19 on the season, baby. Let's go. He has been, he performed just 
beyond expectations this season. We have a 10-point lead now, 38-28 here in the third quarter. I still don't know what stadium we're in. Help me out, Regear. What stadium is the Continental Tire Bowl in? I can't remember. Nice play, Bryant. Let's go. I saw the stadium name at the beginning of the game, but I just can't remember. I don't know. Let's go, defense. High snap. Oh my goodness, Stevens almost had his 14th. Look at McDowell, 12 of 24, 317 yards. No touchdowns, but no picks. Only sacked one time. He's also got a bunch of rushing yards as well. I mean, it's pretty obvious that we need a quarterback that is mobile. It's so obvious. Oh, Stevens with number 14. He just tied the NCAA record for picks in a season, boys. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be my neighbor? Oh my goodness, Simon, I cannot believe you came back for that. Receivers are just making plays in this game. McDowell got crushed. Caught that triple coverage. Unreal. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm having fun right now. We'll play action. He's wide open, but he overthrew him. Oh, my goodness. We had him, McDowell. You got to make that pass, buddy. I'm going to try to hit him with a speed option with trips right. Is this the one that we scored the touchdown on? Not, I can't remember. Nope, definitely not. Good play by the defense. That'll bring up third and long. Third and 12 coming up. I mean, McCall didn't stand a chance on that linebacker. Wow. All right. From the 46-yard line, let's just chug it deep. Why not? can say this is a high-scoring game. Yes, sir. I did not expect there to be this much points on the board. Oh, my goodness. That was a decent throw, too. Falling backwards. Trying to fit that into a really small window. And we're going to punt it away. That's all right, though. Geronimo! On for the punt. I think this is his first of the game. Pretty decent. Down to the 14-yard line. Stevens needs one more pick for 15, which I'm pretty sure would be the record. And I think that's holding. Yes, sir. And that'll back them up all the way to their seven-yard line. I keep using nickel defense. I'm hoping that Darius Curtis will get a pick as well in his final game. And overthrows his target. Brings up second and 17 now. Cover three. I got the flats on the right. Collins gets, what, six yards maybe? Yep, six yards, all right. I'm going to go cover three cloud. Got the deep right. Yeah. 
Oh, no. That was a perfectly called play, perfectly thrown ball, right between the zones. Yeah, look at this, perfect placement. I mean, that's, that's a tough play for Mullins to try to make right there. Real tough. Go defense. Direct snap. All right, pick up a five. Second out of five coming up. Stick around after the game, guys. We're going to be doing the whole off season and setting up the schedule and whatnot for season number five in the series. Samson with a nice tackle. That is the true freshman defensive tackle. Blitzing uh, Walden. Nice deflection from Landry. He probably could have picked that off if he really tried. But we get the stop again. Fourth and four coming up from the 47-yard line of Pittsburgh. Fair catch that for sure. My goodness. All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna hand it off to Stevenson. And that did not work. And that will end the third quarter of the Continental Tire Bowl. Get your fours up in the chat, boys and girls. It's 38-28, number 23, United States Marine Corps Patriots on top of the Pitt Panthers. Uh-oh. I took too long picking the play. I wasn't even reading chat or anything there. Sometimes that 25-second clock sneaks up on you, you know? Let's go, McCall. That was a good play. McDowell, 414 yards this game. What a way to go out for his career. Goodness gracious. I'd like to know where this performance was in a lot of the other games that I put him in. Look at that season from McCall. That is a true freshman walk-on. He was a monster. What in the heck just happened on that play? We're going for it. That was wild. And sack. We'll move the chains. Risky play call, but I just don't care. I believe in the big fella. McDowell, you got to throw it. Had him open on the corner. All right, second down to 10. Read option. Nice tackle. Jay, what stadium is this? I saw it at the beginning of the game, and I can't remember. It's been killing me all game. Defense! 
Is this the Panther State? No, this isn't the Panther Stadium, is it? He's got him beat again. Oh my goodness, how did he catch that? I get the most generic catch animation of all time, and he comes down with it. I cannot believe he just brought that in. No shot. Oh my. That was crazy. <laughs> what? That was wild. Unreal, man. Three hundred and seventy-five passing yards. You're out of your mind right now. Let's go with the speed option. Some of the plays today have just been blowing my mind. Nice blocking. And Stevenson will pick up about six yards. I think it is the Panthers Stadium, Jay. It's hard for me to tell right now. So we're playing the Panthers from Pitt and the Panthers from Carolina's stadium, is what you're saying. Take off, get the first down, let's go. McDowell was 71 yards on the ground today. I've had so much fun in this stream. I'm so glad I didn't have to stop it <laughs> because of the thunderstorm. All right, this might be good. Maybe. McDowell is a little tired, though, so we've got to be careful here. Oh, my goodness. He got rocked. Absolutely destroyed here. Look at this hit. Boom! Shoulder right through his throat. That's my quarterback. That's my teammate. Yeah, he he is tired. My goodness. I'm gonna try a little dump off pass across the middle. Let's try to hit Jones. Nope. Saw that coming. Five receivers and nobody gets open. want to see it again. All right. I'm going to call a timeout. Get a little energy back for my guys. And we're going with the slot wheels, baby. Let's go. Walker or McCall. Who wants it? Got him. Touchdown. Let's go. What a throw. That's what I'm talking about, baby. What a play. First touchdown pass of the game for McDowell. And that's a big one. This will make it a 17-point ball game, possibly putting it out of reach for Pitt. Extra point from Mills is up and good. He is still perfect on the season. Four extra points. 13 plays, 74 yards. Three minutes and 30 seconds off the clock on the drive. Hopefully this stays in bounds. All right, that was decent. I'll take it. Good tackle, Jones. Okay, buddy. We have 519 yards of offense. Unreal. We did not do that against Virginia, and we went to three overtimes. Crazy. And we get the sack. Let's go. Sampson, the freshman defensive tackle. Get that pick. Oh my goodness, look at all the defenders. There were six defenders in the area.
Cover two has been working really well against these guys. No shot. Oh my goodness. That would happen, wouldn't it? One time Stevens can't come up with it. He deflects it back to the receiver's hands. Feels bad. Alright, try it again. And he gets the deflection that time. Fourth deflection of the game. This guy is a monster. It's got to be the visor, you know? It's got to be. Nice deflection by Washington. The blue chip prospects with a nice play. Oh, we're really good on third downs in this game. 9 of 15. That's pretty dang good compared to all of our other games that we've had. And overthrown intended for number 87. And it is a fourth down and 10 coming up for Pitt. It's another big factor there. Two for two and fourth downs in the game for us. And that is going to be caught. Oh my goodness. Come on, Washington. Make that play, man. That is crazy. Nice catch by Bradshaw. So if we hold on to win, this will push us up to a four-star school. Oh my goodness, Stevens. Pick that, man. Come on, man. Still a good play, though. That is deflection number five in this game. Put him in the Hall of Fame right now. They're down to three for the Panthers. And they're going to get it. Newman makes it first and goal at the six or seven yard line. Nice drive, 10 plays, 74 yards, minute and a half off the clock. Oh, nice deflection, Landry. Oh, my goodness. We've had so many plays where it should have been picked off. Let's go! Landry gets the interception in the end zone. That's the second pick of the game. I think his other interception was also in the end zone at the end of the first half. Who deflected it? Uh, Albert Washington, the freshman corner, deflects it up in the air. Man, what a fun game this has been. Really good end of the season as well, honestly. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, Stevenson. Running two people over. Trying to run the clock out now. A little read option. 
These shotgun runs have been working a lot better than the, you know, traditional runs have been. I mean, look at this. We're getting some decent blocking downfield, for the most part. Maybe that's what our offense needs to switch up to. We need to switch to, you know, an Oregon Duck kind of offense. A lot of shotgun. McDowell, player of the game for the Patriots. No surprise. Over 400 yards passing in this game. Unreal. Over 50 yards rushing as well. And Stevenson, another nice little five-yard run. He's got 35 in the game with a touchdown. And we'll end it with a triple option. This is going to be McDowell's final play of his career, as well as uh, McKnight, I believe, and our center. And McDowell gets the first down. Oh, my goodness. What an end to his career. And that is it, folks. 45-28 to 28 is the final score. We get the win in the, the Tire Bowl. The Continental Tire Bowl. And there is the trophy. We finished the season 9-4. and four. Johnny Bravo in the chat. What up, Johnny? You're just in time to, uh, you know, watch the entire offseason, buddy. If you're interested, you know. No, it's not the end of the stream. We're going to do the whole offseason, bud. Really close games. Take a quick look at the stats. Over 500 yards of offense. I mean, we were killing it all on offense in this game. It was crazy. 24 first downs, 141 yards on the ground as well. 9-5 on third, 2-2 two two on fourth. We were 100% in the red zone. We did have one fumble. That was on a kick return. But we picked them off four times, including two picks for John Stevens, the true freshman free safety who we start at strong safety. And he finishes the season with 14 interceptions. Uh, Jason Landry had two picks as well, the junior corner. Dudes are just balling out. Killing it. And we started off this game down 14 nothing, And then we just went crazy. Four straight touchdowns. Then they scored two straight touchdowns. Then we scored 10 straight. 17 straight. And then that was it. Shut them out in the fourth. Got the dub. And this will push us up to a four-star program, I believe. Look at this game, 404 yards, one touchdown, no picks. Just beautiful. He also had 72 yards on the ground, two touchdowns. Stevenson had a touchdown, Christensen had one, Donnell Sapp also had one. Everybody that ran the football scored a touchdown in this game. Steven Simon, 5 for 163 yards receiving, wow. Michael Walker had a touchdown. And that was McKnight's last game as well. He ended with three catches, 97 yards. Not bad. Of course, he missed a little bit of the season due to injury. Lee McCall, two drops today. Feels bad. But he had a really good season for a true freshman walk-on. You got to go, Marvin. It's all good, buddy. Appreciate you sticking around. Michael Norwood, his final game. He had four tackles. Douglas Sampson had a sack, and here's the pick numbers. I mean, these guys are just insane. The Jim Thorpe Award winner, John Stevens. I want to see what Kwame Gatewood did in his final game. See what he did. Look at all these freshmen up here. Crazy. Kwame Gatewood, just two tackles in his final game. Darius Curtis, one tackle. And deflections, let's see what we got here. Landry at two, Stevens at five. My goodness. Most of these guys are all freshmen or sophomore. 
uh, we're going to be in good hands in the future. Chris Mills finishes the season 15 of 19 for field goals. We did pretty good this year. Not bad. Long of, I think, 38 or 39 yards. Nothing crazy, but he got the job done. All right, that's it. We'll simulate the rest of the bowl games. I believe the national championship game is Miami and West Virginia, uh, unless one of them somehow got jumped. I mean, West Virginia is undefeated. Miami has one loss. I don't really see uh, anybody jumping. I mean, obviously nobody's going to jump West Virginia, right? Right? Who knows? We'll see. All right, we're going to save it quick in case that thunderstorm comes back and kills the stream. Yeah, I, it should be Miami and West Virginia. Earlier in the season, Miami put up 94 points on Duke, so. But West Virginia, I mean, they have the Heisman winner at halfback. Had over 1,300 total yards of offense and 21 touchdowns, so. And Kyle Wright, quarterback from Miami, who was awful in real life. Uh, had a good season this year in this game. So he was, I think he finished number three in the Heisman voting. I'm working on it. There's really only so much I can do, guys. All right, but anyways, 04, my personal favorite. And then a lot of people, I mean, I think most people would say that 06 is the best PS2 college football game. The majority, at least, would say that. Uh, good game here from... Kentucky. Simulate these bowl games. Then we'll go back and look at it. But, but yeah, a lot of people slept on 05, you know? It's it's right in the middle of those two really good, really good college games. This one has its problems for sure. You know, like the passing in this game is pretty rough. A lot of drop passes. I mean, you can see our quarterback stats are just not good. There's the national championship game. The Sugar Bowl, number two Miami at number one West Virginia. I'm hoping it's going to be a good game. Hopefully West Virginia doesn't get absolutely crushed. All right, where did we leave off? All right, so Air Force wins their bowl game. They finished 9-4, and four, so they finished with the same exact record as us. And, and weirdly enough, they didn't play Army this season, which just blows my mind, uh, which resulted in us winning the Commander-in-Chief trophy. But... Uh, let's see, Oklahoma State destroys USC. Oh my goodness, 56 points on them, huh? Dang. Arkansas beats Cincinnati. Cal beats Northwestern in overtime. Southern Miss beats Colorado State. Wake Forest beats South Carolina. Iowa beats Auburn in the Outback Bowl. That was a good game. Kansas State beats LSU. Wow. I didn't really expect that because Kansas State got crushed by Texas in the Big 12 title game. Uh, NC State beats Notre Dame in the Gator Bowl. Wisconsin beats Georgia 20-9. They finish 10-2 uh, on the season. Penn State wins against Washington in the Rose Bowl Classic. Penn State finishes 10-2. Oklahoma beats Tennessee. Tennessee was the SEC champion. That was the Orange Bowl 31-24. Sooners win it. And Texas beats Michigan in the Fiesta Bowl, 17-12. to 12. Used to go to the Liberty Bowl all the time. Yeah, I feel that. Sometimes in these games, you just get stuck going to the same, like, one or two bowl games every year unless you get into a different conference or, you know, you got to win, like, two or three different or more games than you did the previous season to try to get to a new one. All right, let's, let's look at this matchup. Number one offense in the country in Miami. Almost 500 yards per game. That is ridiculous. West Virginia overtook the number one defense from us. And Miami took the number two defense from us. So I guess we finish probably a top ten at least, most likely. But this looks like a pretty even matchup. West Virginia doesn't throw the football a lot, but they sure do run it. 258 yards per game. Should be a doozy. Let's see who wins it. And Miami is your national champion. They beat West Virginia and finish 11-1. West Virginia also finishes 11-1, undefeated until the title game. It wasn't too bad. 35-18 was the final. 
don't tell me they didn't score any touchdowns, right? Okay, they got some. So they failed a two-point conversion. And then that would have put them down 21-20. And then Miami just scores two straight touchdowns in the fourth with less than five minutes to go. Oh, my goodness. West Virginia held under 300 yards of offense. Only threw the ball 12 times. Miami got sacked five times. Each team had two turnovers. Quarterbacks didn't really do too great. I mean, nothing crazy really happened in this game, guys, but Miami is your national champion. Following schools have offered for, have made offers for your services as a coach. Select a school to view their offer. Marine Corps till I die, baby. Oh you, oh, you actually went to the Liberty Bowl. I see what you're saying, Johnny. Okay. Memphis Tiger football season tickets. That's actually really cool. Do you ever get to watch uh, D'Angelo Williams play? All right, let's uh, take a quick gander here. Sports Illustrated Hurricanes, blah, blah, blah. Yep, they won it. I hate the logo that they have in the game for them. Like, why? Award winners. We already went over all this stuff. If you missed it, it is in this stream. We had two All-Americans, John Stevens, um, and he was first team, and then he was freshman All-American, and then he was also first team ACC, and our kicker actually got second team All-ACC, which is kind of crazy. You were going when D-Will was there? That's so sick, dude. He was great. All right, let's take a look at the final standings, guys. West Virginia in the... Oh, that's the Big East. Can we look at the NCAA? Obviously, this is not totally accurate here. These are just the win-loss records and whatnot. A lot of 10-win teams, which is nice to see. There was nine 10-win teams, 10 or more win teams, I should say. And we finished 9-4 and four on the season, and our final ranking is 21st in the nation. Five and three in conference. I mean, we had a pretty good year. I mean, we had four losses in a row, but five and one at home. That's really going to help with the toughest places to play standings. Uh, hopefully, we can get in there. It probably won't happen next season. We're still a young team, but hopefully, we can get in there in the next couple seasons at least. I'm going to save it one more time right here now that we advanced into the offseason. Started going with your grandfather in 2000? All the way to 2011. Nice. Wait, was uh, Paxton Lynch wasn't there in 11, was he? I don't think he was. He might have been young. You tell me you've been working on a railroad all the live long day. That's crazy. I'm trying to remember more Memphis players, but I only really remember D'Angelo Williams because I'm a Panthers fan, so I knew where he went to school. I think that was 2019. No, it was, was it that? No, that was only three years ago. Was he really in and out of the NFL that quick? <laughs> the dude's playing in the USFL right now. And he is not good from the highlights that I've seen. All right. Let's see what we got. School budgets. I think we're going to... Let's see. I mean, our discipline was pretty good this season, honestly. Training. I think I'm just going to keep it at 40-30-30. You're going during the Tommy West era. Way back in the day. Man, 
in 2000. I was I was nine years old when that football season started. Preparing recruiting budgets. Whoa, what is this? You are not leaving me. Don't you dare. I will get back to this. Maybe. Oh my goodness. Alright, we're going to give him 12 points. Alright, so we got our halfback to stay. Uh, do we really need the strong safety and the free safety? I don't think we do. I'm not going to waste any points on these guys, honestly. McClendon, he was just a special teams guy. He's not that fast. Cologne, we could deal without him. Alright. Well, quick, let's go see uh, who we're actually losing here. We lost Norm Blunt, starter. I can't believe none of these guys went pro. Plumbing Gatewood. 20 sacks in his career. Really good player. He improved every season as far as uh, sack numbers. Darius Curtis. Had two sacks this season on some blitzes that we sent him on. But, I mean, he wasn't really out there on defense a lot. We mainly used him on returns, which we never had a kick return or punt return touchdown, but he got pretty close. 40-yarder and a 51-yarder on punts and a 40-yard kick return um, in his sophomore season. But, yeah. Our center's gone. DeMarco McKelvey, uh, the legend himself. Almost 6,000 yards passing in his career. 54 touchdowns, 38 picks. A great 42 completion percentage. Love to see it. Uh, almost 3,500 rushing yards, 23 touchdowns. Uh, 28 fumbles. Feels bad. He only had one rushing touchdown this season, which is kind of crazy. I mean, he did get hurt and missed half the season, but to only have one score on the ground is kind of crazy. Jason Fitzpatrick, the left end. He was a reserve player. One sack in every season that he played. Consistent. Keith McDowell. Fantastic end to his career. I mean, he went crazy in that bowl game against Pittsburgh. Lost the left guard. Michael Norwood. He graduates. He had 56 tackles in his career. Two sacks, two picks, a forced fumble. I mean, most of those stats were in his senior year. He really showed up and played pretty consistently for us. He also had three deflections as well. Yo, what up, Tyler? Cats are scared of that dog. Oh, it sucks, man. Alex McKnight, let's take a look at his stats. He's actually a pretty uh, significant loss. He had 11 touchdowns last season, five this year. Uh, he got injured, missed most of the season. Uh, but 18 touchdowns. That's a pretty big drop-off for our receiving core now. It says he has 16 drops, but... It only shows three seasons for some reason. Why does it do that? Alrighty then. Alright, and that is it for... I mean, anyone that you guys would really remember. Yep, that is it. A lot of linemen, so... We're gonna continue to recruiting... I'm going to post this in the Discord again to let everybody know that we're uh, we're doing the off-season. Do, 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 do. 
forgot how long this takes. My goodness. All right, I got my notebook ready right next to me. I'm going to be writing down some stuff that we need. I'm going to be looking at a quarterback that can run better than Sutherland, but also has an arm. So we're going to go quarterback. I'm telling you what I'm writing down here. Mobile. All we need is a mobile quarterback with a big arm. I don't care about the accuracy that much. All right, and a halfback. We desperately need speed. All right. We have a fullback, so we're good on that. Uh, receiver. If we do go for any kind of receivers, I'm going to go for speed as well on that. Tight end. Speed. And hands. Team overview. All right, so we do need a receiver. All right, offensive line. All right, tackle. I'm just going to write down tackle, guard, and center. I'm going after offensive line every season until we can get some beasts. All right. All right, we need D end. And I'm going to go for speed on that position as well. D tackle, we're going power. Middle linebacker, I know we need. I think we're good at outside linebacker. I mean, we're pretty good at both, but I'd like to get a middle linebacker um, that is fast and can match up well um, with Mullins. And what's the other guy's name? I, I'm drawing a blank right now. Well, I think we're pretty set in the secondary. We do need a strong safety. We just lost one. Well, I mean, we do have John Stevens, but I'm not officially switching him over to strong safety. But I'm going to write strong safety down anyway. And kicker, punter, like always. All right. Let's get into it, fellas. I'm ready. Interested prospects. Oh, baby. Woo! Let's go. We need him. This guy is from Spring Hill, Florida. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. 469 speed. Do we scout him? Oh, we're scouting him. I don't care about his vertical. Oh, yeah, it went down so much. Feel awareness A. Discipline's poor. That's, that's a bit rough. But I'm going to recruit him anyway. we got to find somebody to fill in the spot that was just vacated by Norm Blunt on the right end. 4-3-5 speed? Are you kidding me? What? Bruh. That is outrageous. Defensive tackle. We are third. We got to compete with Virginia Tech, Penn State, and Arkansas for these two guys. Obviously, we're going for both of them. 4-7-1 speed is crazy. Okay, 4-8-2. Okay. And it's still decent for... A D tackle. Uh, good potential, average discipline, 655 squat. My word. We're going playing time here. We're losing. I mean, we got Samson. He was a good freshman for us. Definitely need depth. And these are five stars, so they're going to be nasty. Alright, so we've got those positions. Let's go by position now. Wow, we've only got two quarterbacks interested in us right now. That That's actually really unfortunate. I'm not even going to try to target any of these guys unless this guy's really fast. Nope. Why do we never have halfbacks that want to come play for us? Playing RuneScape on your other monitor. It's all good, buddy. I'm just upset that these running backs just don't want to play for us. Receivers. My goodness. All right, we're going to scout this guy. Mike Rose from Alabama. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. 40 inch vertical, that is insane. When I had my uh, CFL tryout, this was like eight years ago, I think. It's eight years ago? I have, I believe so. Uh, I had a 38 inch vertical. So 40, 40 is crazy. This guy is from Virginia. We we have to get him. No excuses here. We're gonna go location for him. No tight ends are interested in our school. Got a couple three-star tackles. Oh my goodness. This guy is six foot ten, three hundred and sixty pounds. Wow. That is crazy. I don't really want to go after Juco players. Ah, oh, this sucks for offensive line this season. What in tarnation? Alright, well, we'll figure it out. I mean, defensive ends want to play for us like crazy. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to get try to get as many of these guys as I can. Look, everybody wants to play for Miami. Obviously, they won the national championship, but literally, Miami is number one on, on everybody's list. Except for a few that have West Virginia, me... And that, that's it. Wow. That's crazy. Got any guys from Virginia on here? Nope. This guy from D.C. Alright, let's look at their stats here. 4, 5, 6, 40. Oh my goodness. about this guy? This guy's from Dade. Like, why would he ever want to come here when he can just go down the road to Miami? Alright, what? It's so hard. We gotta compete with all these huge schools, and we're just not quite there yet. A lot of these guys are from Florida. It's gonna be tough to get them. Uh, we have 12 scholarship offers out there right now. Alright, there's two four-star middle linebackers that we could try to get. One from Kentucky, one from Florida. We are number two on the guy from Florida's list behind Miami. Runs a 4.56, 29-inch vertical, C-plus hands, A awareness, good potential, average discipline. His bench press numbers went up, and so did his squat. we got to get this guy for sure. Wait, did I even scout this? I didn't even scout that guy. What? There we go. Guy also runs a 4-5-6. I mean, these guys would be so good for us. What about the three star? 4-6-9? Nope, not doing that. Get a four star corner on there. We don't need any... Oh my goodness. Why? It feels like we had more players interested last offseason than we did this season. Does that make any sense? Of course, I can't look at uh, the coach thing. I'm pretty sure we're a four-star school now, though. So it's just crazy to me that 
there's just nobody that wants to really like nobody big that wants to play for us so we're gonna go to the all prospect list here we're gonna go by position let's see I want to look at the athletes all right let's look at athletes we'll see that guy's got average interest Isaac Little we'll go back to him see if we can't find somebody in here high interest level from this guy he looks to be a uh, what position would he play 6'6 236 pounds he's from Virginia good potential good discipline I don't know what position he's gonna play but we'll put him we'll put him on the list Just trying to see if anybody has high interest level at positions that we need. All four of the five-star quarterbacks have Texas number one on their list. And only one of them is from Texas, two from Georgia, one from Louisiana. And none of them have, <laughs> all of them have a low interest level on us. Come on, looking for high interest level here. Ah, this is going to be tough. Get a three star on there. See what happens. Just not sure, guys. About this guy. A plus accuracy, A arm strength. From Marion, North Carolina. We'll put him on the list. I don't I doubt we're gonna get him. We still need to put a strong safety as well, so uh, we got 18 scholarships, we got seven left to offer. Any running backs? Got one so far that had average interest. We're already into the three stars. So we're going to go after the one guy that had average interest. He's got Ohio State, Wake Forest, and West Virginia in his top three. We don't need a fullback. Don't need a receiver. I mean, we have we targeted three receivers because they're all four stars and really fast. So Oklahoma State has four four-star tight ends that all have Oklahoma State at number one. That is wild. Offer a three-star tight end. With pretty good speed. Looking at some linemen now. We, we still need linemen. We always need linemen, but they're just not biting. Here we go. This guy's got a high interest level. He's a four-star tackle out of Ohio. He's 6'8", 285 pounds. We'll get him added to the list. For show. Oh, my goodness. 6'7", 300 pounds. 6'6", 316. How many spots we got left? We got four spots left. Trenton, New Jersey, Paducah, Kentucky. My goodness. Which one do I go after? Oh, Penn State, Miami, West Virginia, Texas, OU, Purdue. Oof. Either way, that's that's rough. I think I'm gonna add them both. We'll move on to the guards. Look at all the five-star guards. Oh, my goodness. Let's see if any of them are high interest level. Doesn't look to be. Oh, there's a three-star. Nah, I don't really want to add a three-star. 
What about center? We did lose our starting center. Dang. Alright, let's go back to the tackles, I guess. Goodness gracious. Alright, I guess we're gonna be done with the offensive lineman. That's a bit rough. Not gonna lie. Still gotta add a strong safety. I wanna look at kickers and punters as well. Wow, there's only. There's one five star strong safety and three four stars. The rest are three star or lower. That is crazy. That guy's got high interest level for us. But we don't really need... Yeah, we don't really need one, but... Oh, it was, it was a four star, right? Oh no, it was actually the five star. Oh my goodness. No way. Well, we're off for him. We got one spot left. Let's look at kickers. And punters, I guess. No kickers. <laughs> How about a punter? Everybody wants to go to Oklahoma. What is up with that? And looks like no punter this season either. Dang. All right, let's look back at the athletes. We got one spot left. Did we add him already? I think we targeted him. Yeah, we already targeted him. All right, Michael Price, 6'1", 185-pound, three-star athlete, A-plus hands, uh, 4.2, 40-yard dash. Scout him real quick. It's 426, official, and officially A-plus hands. That is phenomenal. All right. That's going to be it for week one, guys. Let's simulate and see if we get anybody, I guess. Hopefully we get some people. Wow, it's already 9 o'clock Eastern Time right now. I did not even realize. I appreciate everybody that's stopped by the stream tonight. This one was a lot of fun. Man, this is just like a... It's going to be a week recruiting season for everybody it looks like there's not it's like mostly D ends and D tackles and a bunch of four and five star athletes it wasn't like anything too crazy this season it's still crazy to me that we just had like nobody interested in us after us moving up to a four star program I'm crossing off kicker and punter for this season. That's just not going to happen. So we're going to be having Geronimo. That's not his name, but that's what I'm calling him. He's going to be our punter still. And Mills will be our kicker again uh, next season. mind-blowing how there wasn't really a whole lot of offensive linemen interested you know we have a lot of openings and we got no commitments week one. Oh boy this is gonna be tough fellas how many people already signed let's see it only two we lost out on the three-star athlete and a four-star tackle uh, one went to Virginia Tech that's the three-star athlete Michael Price he had the 426 speed. So that's going to be tough to face in the ACC. And the four star tackle went to Penn State, the one that was 6 foot 7, 300 pounds. Playing time wasn't important for him. So he's like, you know what? I'm just going to go here. Play for good old Joe Paterno before all hell broke loose down there in Happy Valley. All right, we still got 23 targets. We're number one on a lot of the lists. 
Tommy Earl, number one defensive tackle in the country, is not very interested in playing right, right away. Excuse me. He's from Kentucky. Let's go ahead and go with location, I guess, for him. Hank Watson, number two defensive end in the country from Toccoa, Georgia. Very small defensive end. He could probably play linebacker. 6'3", 265 pounds. It says he runs a 4'3", 5'40". What? Ain't no way. 4'4", which is still insane for a defensive end. We are number one on his list currently. He doesn't care about playing time, so we're going to go um, coaching style, I guess. No, we'll go program prestige now. Micah Hopkins, number one strong safety in the country. Playing early is not a priority for this young fella. He has excellent discipline, good potential. Oh my goodness. 4 4 6 40. A minus field awareness, A plus hands, 41.9 vertical. Wow. Let's go program prestige on that young fella. Marion Mills from Saginaw, Texas. Number two defensive tackle in the country, 6'3", 289 pounds. He did not respond much to the chance at playing early. We are number one on his list right now. We'll fully scout him. Excellent discipline, good potential. These are the guys that we want, fellas. Right, we need these guys. Uh, he doesn't care about early playing time, so we're going to keep uh, going program prestige till we find what he likes, and then we'll keep going with that. Now, Mac Martz, number three defensive end in the country, 6'3", 256 pounds. Poor discipline, good potential, though. Runs a 4'6", 940, A field awareness. He likes the fact that he can play early at the Marine Corps. So we're going to keep putting points into that. All right, immediate playing time is not important to Marcus, what is that, Henniket? From Lakeside, Virginia, that's a halfback, number seven halfback in the country. I'm going to scout him real quick. He's from Virginia. Good discipline, good potential. 448 official. B hands, A field awareness. I mean, I know it's a long shot that we can get him, but... I'm going to put 13 points into him for location, just see what happens there. Mike Rose, number two wide receiver in the nation. Four-star from Holt, Alabama. His coach said he was a joy to coach. Didn't respond much to the chance at playing early. He runs a 4-3-3. A-plus hands. Excellent discipline. Good potential. Uh, bench press, 305. We're number two on his list currently. Let's go program prestige. If we're a four-star, that's a good thing to keep harping on here. Anton Smith, number five wide receiver in the country, runs a 4-1-8. We desperately need this guy. B-plus hands, so he could work on that a little bit. Poor discipline, but that 418 speed, my goodness. And location is a huge factor for him, so we're going to keep pushing that. Brad Tillman, number four wide receiver in the country. Good potential, good discipline, 4 2 2 40. This vert went up. Playing early is not his main priority. So we're going to go program prestige again here. He's got Bowling Green as his number one school. So we could probably get in there and snag him as we're competing with the Falcons and the Miami, Ohio Redhawks. Okay, then. Kerry Love, number 13 tackle in the country. Four star. He's 6'6", 316 pounds. We're not on his list currently. We're going to scout him up. His bench reps are better than what they thought they'd be. 705 squat as opposed to 765. That's okay. But his bench went from 425 to 465. A minus field awareness. This guy is an absolute stud. Doesn't care about playing right away. Let's go program prestige. Four points into him. Kenneth Moultrie, number 10 tackle in the nation from Sharonville, Ohio. Uh, he's, we're high on his list, but he's, we're not in the top three. He does like the prospect of possibly starting a left tackle next season. So we're going to keep harping on the playing time with this guy. We are going to fully scout him here. A field awareness. His bench press went down from 505 to 500. Oh, no. Good potential. Good discipline. 
I mean, this guy is good. He is going to be solid. We need to get him now. Reginald Brooks, number 13 quarterback. I'm going to fully scout him here. Ah, uh, he's a 48240. Oh, man. I don't know about this guy. Doesn't care about playing right away. I mean, I guess we can just dump a little bit of points into him. He's not going to. He's not going to be a crazy player or anything. He's got A arm strength, B plus accuracy, though. He could be decent for us down the road, perhaps. I don't know if he really fits our, our offensive play style, though. All right, Dominic Gandy, number 10 athlete in the country from Jefferson, Virginia. He's 6'6", 236 pounds. Uh, let's see, location doesn't matter. So we're going to go to playing time. I don't know what position he plays, so we'll dump three points into him. Amari Lynch from Pikeville, Kentucky, number 19 corner. Runs a 4-3-9. Doesn't care about location. So we're going to go to uh, Program Prestige here. And we'll give him four points. Jonathan McNeil doesn't care about playing early. He's a middle linebacker who we really need to get. We're number two on his list currently. He's probably my number one prospect right now. Doesn't care about playing time, though. Let's go look, um, program prestige. We'll go program prestige here. Give him six points. Charles Archie, he doesn't care about playing time either. He would rather compete for it, it looks like, so that's nice. If we can get both of these guys, we may switch to the 3-4. See how that would work out. They both got pretty decent speed, so uh, we are number two on his list currently behind Miami, and Virginia Tech is third. So we're going to go Program Prestige on him as well. Six points. Noah Clinton, number 11, defensive tackle, four star. We'll fully scout him. His vertical went down 0.3, but he's got A-plus field awareness. Poor discipline, though. Oh, that's tough. Squat went up to 655. I guess we'll give him some points. Keep going. Mark Nelson, 17th rated defensive end. We're number one on his list. He doesn't care about playing right away. I'm not going to scout him. That's 20 points. There's no point, really. Program prestige. Juan Lockhart, number 12 tight end. We're not on his list at all. He's from New Jersey. Let's go. We'll go location. We do need a tight end, I think, right? No, we don't need one, but it'd be nice to have one. Omar Davenport. Did I add him? I did because of the arm strength and arm accuracy. That's right. Well, A plus arm strength, B awareness, 482, okay. We'll give him some points, I guess. He's from Johnson City, to Tennessee. Mark Swift, three star tackle, doesn't care where we're located, yada, yada, yada. Richard Chatfield, defensive end, doesn't care about playing time. Give him location, I guess. Darrell Riggs, center. We need him. Location, location, location. Let's go. He's only a two-star, but we could use him. All right, how many points do we have left? We got six points remaining. And we can put two more players on our list. Let's see what we can do here. I don't even know what to do at this point. Just go down the entire list, see who's interested, I guess. Five-star cornerback, number one corner. He's high on, uh, he's got us high on his list, I guess. Five-star DN has us high on his list. Another corner. I mean, I guess we can go after that, uh, the number one corner. Wouldn't be bad to have him, right? I mean, we're probably not going to get him, but it doesn't hurt to have him on the list. I want to add a quarterback, too. Like, a really good one. All 
I gotta go take one point off of somebody on our list. Then we can add Rashad Gandy from Village St. George, Louisiana. He's an Elite 11 quarterback. All right, who can I take one point off of? Nope. Somebody from Virginia, I bet. There we go. And we will add Mr. Gandy. He's got low interest level, but what does it hurt, you know? He's got Texas number one on his list. Texas is number one on so many quarterbacks' lists right now. And that's going to be it for week two. I hope that we can secure some of these guys if not this is going to be a rough recruiting class and we cannot afford to have a rough recruiting class going into next season otherwise we might have a, a bigger losing streak than we had in the season we just had so don't want to be out here losing more than four uh, four games in a row I'd like us to get to a double-digit win total again, like we did in Season 3. You know, during our 18-game our winning streak, which was ridiculous. Well, they, I think it was 18 that we finished. I know, Johnny, we need some people, man. It's killing me. I don't know how we didn't get any. I think last season, or last offseason, we got like a handful of guys that committed after week one and then after week two we got another handful and after week three I mean we went crazy and I'm, if I'm remembering correctly we had the number two recruiting class behind Texas I believe but now we're just kind of chilling with, <laughs> with no commits right now come on baby there we go. We got some. Oh, we got one. We got that middle linebacker. Is it the one that I really wanted? Yes, sir. Jonathan McNeil. All right, let's take a quick look at our four commits. Mac Martz. Oh, wait. Where'd he go? Hey, get back here. Get back here, man. We probably lost out on a bunch of guys left, too, didn't we? All right, we lost out on a four-star receiver to Bowling Green. Are you serious? Get out of here. We lost out on the tight end to Rutgers. But it's okay, because we didn't need a tight end. So that's fine, guys. All right, but here's the recruits that we did get. We got Hank Watson, the number two defensive end in the country. Runs a 4-4-8, 40-yard dash. He's 6'3", 265 pounds. This guy's going to be ridiculous. He's not big, but he can run. He is from Tacoa, Georgia. We got the number three defensive end. In the country. He's also 6'3, 256 pounds, so he weighs a little bit less than his counterpart in Hank Watson. A field awareness. I mean, field awareness for Watson was C, but that's okay. Uh, A field awareness for Mac Martz, 46940, and good potential. He says we have depth at left end, but I mean, we really don't. We have LJ Carroll, who is going to be a senior, and then after that, who's there? There's, there's nobody, my guy. We got Anton Smith, wide receiver, runs a 4-1-8, 40-yard dash. That is ridiculous. He's probably got 97, 98 speed in this game. I think that's what that equals out to. We beat Miami and Texas to get him, and he committed because of the location. He's a local guy, Wolf Trap, Virginia. Uh, not very big, 6'1", 181 pounds, uh, B-plus hands. I mean, he's going to be really fun to watch. 40.1-inch vertical. He's got hops. Can't wait to see him on the field. And Jonathan McNeil. He was impressed by our heritage and prestige. Four-star prestige getting us recruits. Let's go, baby. 4, 5, 6, 40. 35.7-inch vertical. A-plus field awareness for a true freshman middle linebacker. C-plus hands. Good potential. Discipline is average. I mean, this dude is going to be really good for our program going forward. I can't wait to see him on the field. I'm excited. All right, let's go out and get these other guys, shall we? Mike Cash, number one corner. Uh, we're moving up on his list. He's not interested in our prestige. That's fine. How about coach prestige? I don't know what the coach prestige is. 
Alright, uh, doesn't care about playing time. We're gonna dump 20 points in a program prestige. Just see what happens. He's got A plus arm strength, B accuracy, A plus field awareness. He can run the ball as well. Tommy Earl, D tackle. Doesn't care where he plays. And doesn't care about playing time. So we're gonna go with program prestige for this young guy as well. We're number one on his list, so I like that. Number one strong safety. Uh, we're number two on his list behind Miami. Doesn't care about playing for a big football program. Doesn't care about playing early. Which is good because right now we got John Stevens, who is currently slotted in that strong safety position as a free safety. Uh, they just won the Jim Thorpe Award with 14 interceptions. So Hopkins will most likely sit for a season or two if we were to recruit him. Uh, but let's go to... Uh, let's see. Let's go coach prestige on him. Marion Mills, number two D tackle. Program prestige is not a deciding factor, but we are number one on his list. And I really want this guy with excellent discipline, good potential. He... I mean, he's going to be a really good player for us. Um, let's just see if we can get him. Let's go coach prestige for him. He's from Texas. Okay, location is a big factor for this halfback that we're not even on the list yet, but we are moving up. We're up to average. He's got no bad habits, good potential, good discipline. I, we really need him. He's got pretty decent speed as well. I'm going to give him 10 points since he's from Virginia. Again, another player with excellent discipline. He wasn't interested in our tradition and doesn't care about playing early. This is a wide receiver, Mike Rose from Holt, Alabama. So let's go Coach Prestige. We'll give him six points. He's got a 43-inch vertical. That's outrageous, guys. We're number one on his list, too, so I like that. Uh, Kerry Love from Paducah, Kentucky. He's a tackle. We're number one on his list. He doesn't care about program tradition or playing right away. So let's go Coach Prestige, and we'll give him four points. All right, Kenneth Moultrie, tackle, four-star from Ohio. That's a 6'8", 285-pound uh, player. Good potential, good discipline. We're number two on his list. We moved up. He likes the fact that he can play early at the Marine Corps. So we're going to give him 12 points on playing time. What about the quarterback? We're not even on this guy's list at all. So we're just going to give him two points on Coach Prestige. Moving on. Dominic Gandy, the athlete. Doesn't care about Quantico, Virginia. Doesn't care about playing time. Uh, so we're going to go program Prestige on him as well. Give him one point. He's from Virginia. Amari Lynch from Pikeville, Kentucky, the corner. Doesn't care about Prestige or location. So we're going to go... Coach Prestige on him as well. Give him four points. We're number one on his list. As well as Charles Archie. We're number one on his list now. That's the middle linebacker from Bartow, Florida. Four star. Be massive if we can get him. Let's give him nine points on Coach Prestige. Noah Clinton from Napoleon, Ohio. The defensive tackle. We're number two on his list behind Ohio. That is unacceptable. You need to join us, kind sir. Defensive end, Mark Nelson. We're number one on his list. We just overtook Middle Tennessee State. I mean, which isn't a bad school to go to if you remember their player that won, the, what was it, the Lombardi with 21 sacks? I mean, that's a really good school to go to if, <laughs> if you're looking at stats and stuff. I'm going to go Coach Prestige on him. Quarterback from Johnson City, Tennessee. Doesn't care about our prestige. I'm just going to go coach prestige. Three-star tackle. Doesn't care about that either. Rashard Chatfield, defensive end. Liked our location pitch. Two-star center. Likes our location. Give him 15 points on that. All right, now we can add two more guys if we wanted to. So I'll go back on there. I know this recruiting is taking forever, guys, but I'm trying to be very thorough so we can, you know, get some really good players here. Because I want 
to win some national championships. I don't know about you guys, but that is the ultimate goal here. We don't need a fullback, but it didn't hurt to look. Any other halfbacks here? Let's see. Well, we got him on the list. Trying to see if we could see anybody with a low interest level that has smaller schools on their top three. We might be able to snag them from there. It's just tough. Oh, Tennessee is like really going after these Juco halfbacks. That's crazy. Air Force, Arkansas, and Rice for this guy from California. Alright. I don't like the poor discipline, though. I don't like that. Come on, show me a gem. This guy's 5'10", 160 pounds. Oh my goodness. That is just way too small of a halfback. I'm sorry. Any gem three-star running backs, maybe? Okay. That guy's pretty good. Steve Daniel from Fort Knox, Kentucky. Alright, we're going to give him 12 points on location. And we can add one more guy. So what position do we want to go for here? Let's see if we can look at some offensive linemen again, I guess. And we'll go after a guard. Why not? Bernard Bray from Kalamazoo, Michigan. All right, we're going to simulate week three. Hopefully we get a bunch of commits. Trying so hard right now. It's kind of crazy that the stream has been like five hours long. Actually, five, five and a half. My goodness. And that's only with playing three games. Come on, recruits. Come on, baby. Uh, I'm going to be streaming tomorrow as well for quite some time. I'm going to start uh, during the day some at some point. I don't know, maybe uh, around noon Eastern time. I'll probably start it up. Currently unemployed, so I'm just going to keep grinding, grinding the streams until I, you know, get a new job. Got an interview next Wednesday. Oh, man, we only got two commits. Oh, boy. And we lost out on three guys. Three-star quarterback, that's fine. Lost out on a defensive tackle. To Ohio, that's crazy. And we lost that five star guard that we just added. That's fine. Alright, so uh, what were the commits we just got? Uh, Kenneth Moultrie, the four star tackle. We got him to commit the six foot eight, 285 pound tackle from Sharonville, Ohio. That is a huge pickup for the O-line. Love that. Who was the other one that we just got? Was it, it was the athlete, that's right. Whoops. We got Dominic Gandy, the athlete. I don't know what position he's gonna be playing. He's 6'6", 236 pounds. Uh, I would assume 
I don't even know. Maybe defensive back? Linebacker? I have no idea, guys. Doesn't show his hands, so he's not on offense. But hey, we've got six commits so far. Let's keep grinding. We've still got... How many? we got 16 guys on our list still that we can pump points into. We're moving up on Mike Cash's list, but he doesn't care about our prestige or coach prestige. Like, I want to do playing time, but he wouldn't start. He'd be the nickel, most likely. I mean, I guess I could pitch that. Oh my goodness. Rashad Gandhi wants to be a part of our football tradition. What? I'm going to just put 12 points in him for now. That's the five-star quarterback, guys. He runs a 4.6940, A plus arm strength, B accuracy, A field awareness, good potential, good discipline. I mean, we can work with that. All right, Tommy Earl, number one deep tackle. We are number one on his list. Let's go. He doesn't care about, like, anything that we're talking about, though. Uh, let's go coach prestige, I guess. Micah Hopkins, number one strong safety. We're number one on his list now. Let's go. He doesn't care about big time or big football program. Playing early, he doesn't care about it. Doesn't care about our coach prestige. Just go coach style, I guess. Marion Mills, number two defensive tackle, we're number one on his list. He cares about nothing as well. I guess we'll go coach prestige. Nope, can't do that. We already did that. Um, coach style. All right, we're still gonna keep going with location for Marcus Henniket. I, I think that's how you pronounce that. It's a really weird spelling of a name, um, but we're not in his top three yet. But I'm gonna give him 15 points into that again. That is a pretty good halfback that we really, really need. 448 speed is really good for us. Mike Rose, receiver from Holt, Alabama. Doesn't care about anything yet. What about Coach Style? We are number one on his list as well, and Kerry loves too. But he also doesn't care about anything. <laughs> Alright. Reginald Brooks, quarterback. I mean, we don't really need... I mean, he's a four-star. He doesn't really fit what I'm trying to do with the offense, but... It doesn't hurt to have quality players back there. Mari Lynch from Pikeville, Kentucky, the corner. We're number one on his list. Again, he doesn't care about anything either. Charles Archie, the middle linebacker, doesn't care about anything. Coach style, how about that? It's difficult trying to find the pitches that the guys actually care about. Here we go. Steve Daniel, the three-star halfback, cares about location. So we're going to give him 10 points in location. We're number two on his list right now. Three-star tackle. We'll go coach style, two points. And the three-star DN. Also enjoys location. Two-star center. Location, 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 baby. We'll give him 11 points. And we're going to go back up to the quarterback. And we're going to dump the rest of the points into him. Rashad Gandy. All right, we got 12 points left. Uh, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I'm gonna put the rest into. I already put 15 into the halfback, so I can't do that. Put the rest into cash. We got 12 points left, so we can go up to 15 with him. That's perfect. All right, we'll simulate week four now. 
Only one week left after this, so hopefully we get a bunch of these guys to commit. I don't want it to be a situation like last off season where we had what did we have? Like six, seven, eight guys left going or simulating week five. And we were number one on like five or six of their lists. And I think we only signed one. And a bunch of these guys didn't even sign with any programs at all. Very bizarre. I would love to sign every single person on our list. If you haven't already, go ahead and slap that like button, guys. Join the Discord community as well. There's a link on the channel and in the description of all the other streams. Come on, recruits. Come on, baby. Thanks, Johnny. Thank you for blessing me. It's much appreciated, buddy. You think we're going to win the ACC title this season, Jay? Oh, man. Don't be putting pressure on me now. Oh, my goodness. Look at the commits. We got Rashad Gandy. We got the Elite 11 five-star quarterback. There's no freaking way this just happened. Wow, we weren't even on his radar. Look at all these commits. What? Wow. I don't know what to say right now. <laughs> what? We just got a five-star quarterback. That could be a program changer, folks. We got him. We, we got the number one strong safety, the number two quarterback. I mean, what? Five-star Micah Hopkins, strong safety. We beat out Louisiana State and Georgia. Then we got Marion Willis, number two defensive tackle. We got the other quarterback, Reginald Brooks, who was a four-star. We got the halfback, the four-star halfback, Marcus Henneket. We got Kerry Love, the tackle, the 6'6", 316-pound tackle. Good potential, good discipline. Amari Lynch, corner, 439 speed. We got another defensive end, Rashard Chatfield. We got Jarrell Riggs, the center. Oh my goodness, guys. What? I'm at a loss of words right now. Did that really just happen? We did lose Mike Rose to Tennessee. That's the receiver from Alabama. But I'm not too mad since we have Anton Smith from Wolf Prep, Virginia, who runs a 418. Who else did we lose out on? Nobody. We only lost one guy out of our whole list. We have six guys left on the list, guys. What just happened? I can't believe we got that many in one week. We have 15 commits right now. Six targets left. We need a defense. We need this defensive tackle to sign with us. We're number one on his list. He literally cares about nothing that I've pitched to him. He played um, program prestige, location, playing time, and coach prestige. So what? I mean, what do we do now? Coach style, I guess. Oh, that's wild that we just got all those guys. We're not even on Mike Cash's list. Doesn't care about playing time or our prestige or coach prestige. This recruiting class could change our entire program. Alright, this guy wants... Marine Corps style football. Oh, we're number two on his list now. Uh-oh. Behind Virginia Tech. I don't like that. 
We're going to give him 21 points. That's the other four-star middle linebacker. We need him. All right, this guy has respected me as a coach. I like that. Let's go. Alright, that's it guys. We're gonna We're gonna send it. We have six recruits left on here. We are either number one or number two on all their lists except for Mike Cash, the number one corner in the country. We are not on his list just yet, but we have uh, he's got high interest level for us, so let's simulate this final week and see what happens guys. This has been a wild offseason already. I love it. I can't believe we snagged a five-star quarterback. Elite 11 prospect. He's not the fastest. Runs a 4.69, but really good arm talent. And I think we can work with that. We do need that defensive tackle to commit, though. That's our only need left, I believe. Really excited about the halfback that we got. We got a new quarterback, new halfback, uh, a really good receiver, really fast. We got several offensive linemen that could probably come in and start right away. We're going to have a really young O-line, but they're going to be significantly better than what we've had in the past. Our defensive line, we just stacked it in this offseason. We got the middle linebacker that we really needed to replace um, Underwood. We might get a second middle linebacker here. I think we, we got a corner, I believe. We got num the number one strong safety in the country. I mean, oh my, we got four of the six remaining. We got the defensive tackle. Tommy Earl, baby. And we got the middle linebacker, Charles Archie. Mark Nelson, defensive end. And we got that three-star halfback. Let's go, fellas. We just signed, what, 19 recruits? This running back has a 4-3-1 speed, too. So that is really good. A-plus hands, 34-inch vertical. C-plus field awareness, I mean, that's what makes him a three-star. But he's got good potential, average discipline. Uh, his bench numbers went up five. Squat went down a little bit, but that's fine. But Steve Daniel, watch out for him this coming season. Uh, we got to get him on the field and see if he can make some plays for us. But fantastic recruiting class. Can't wait to see where we actually rank. Well, Mark Nelson. We got a lot of small defensive ends, but they're pretty quick. So hopefully we can create some pressure off the edges. I'm really excited about the middle linebackers. Tommy Earl, what a monster he's going to be for us. All right, guys. Wow. Top classes. Let's check it out. Number one recruiting class in the country. No way. We got six... Five star prospects, ten four stars, two three stars, and a two star. So last season, Texas beats us for the number one class. This season, we beat them far and away. Wasn't even close with the six five star guys. I mean, wow. And I mean, we're getting guys from all over the place as well, you know. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. New signings, that's what I'm looking for. My goodness. 
All right, here it is. Four of our six five-star players are on the defensive line. One is in the secondary, who doesn't care about playing time, so we could probably redshirt him if we wanted. And we got Rashad Gandy, Elite 11, five-star quarterback. Outrageous. I mean, this is going to change our program, guys. And then we get some offensive linemen. We got another defensive end. Four-star halfback. We got another quarterback, a four-star. Middle linebacker, another O-lineman. A corner. Our other middle linebacker. I don't know which middle linebacker I'm more excited about, Archie or McNeil. They're both going to be really good, I think. We got Anton Smith with a 4.18 speed at receiver. Another DN, three star. And Steve Daniel, the three star halfback. And a center. He's only a two star, but that's fine. Wow. I don't think we have pipeline states in this game, do we? Because it doesn't show any. Alright, finalized recruiting. It's a game changer, guys. I'm telling you. We're going to go ahead. We're going to finish the offseason. We're going to set up our schedule. Um, We're going to set up our schedule for season number five as well. Rashad Gandy has an 82 overall. Are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness. He's the best quarterback on the team, and it's not even close. Reginald Brooks, the other freshman, 74 overall. Bruh. Let's look at their other stats here. 80 jumping for Rashad Gandy as well. Wow. 95 throw power, 82 accuracy. We're going to be slinging the pigskin, fellas. I mean, we're going to try to. 92 stamina, 87 injury as well. Oh, my goodness. Halfback, let's see what we got. Steve Daniel, 92 speed. Okay, so 43140 equals 92 speed, apparently. So, we, we got to get him the football. He's far and away the fastest running back that we got. Um, let's see, Marcus Henniket, the four star halfback, 84 speed. He's really not much better than Steve Daniel with the 74 overall. Henniket has 76. What a recruiting class, guys. Wow. Stamina and injury are all pretty much the same for all the halfbacks. Let's see. Receivers. Anton Smith, 98 speed. Okay. What's his catching? 90 agility as well. Oof. 94 acceleration. 74 catching, uh, which is better than Randy Jones and James Goss. 87 jumping. Oh, man. I cannot wait to get him on the field and see what he can do. Tight ends. I wish we were able to get a tight end, but looks like we're just stuck with Kareem here. Tackles. My goodness. I mean, we got just freshmen. Just, they're going to be so good. 92 strength. Oh, my goodness. For Kenneth Moultrie, the freshman tackle. See the one from Ohio? Yep, Sharonville, Ohio. 6'8", 285 pounds. Should I make him the left tackle and make Jack... Uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make Jax Watts the right tackle. And I'm going to keep Moultrie at left tackle. So he's going to be protecting our quarterback's blind side now at 6'8". Don't you fail me. Bryant McKinney. All right. Let's see. We got... That was two freshman tackles. All right. At guard, we've got DeAndre Shepard and Brock Leon. Those were the freshmen last season. So they're probably going to be pretty good for us this year. At center, James Patrick will get the start. Uh, Jarrell Riggs, 65 overall. Nothing to write home about.
Defensive ends, LJ Carroll, obviously the best one. Um, 87 overall right now. I don't, we didn't do the training just yet. Oh my goodness, Mac Martz, true freshman, 84 overall. Mark Nelson, 80 overall true freshman. Hank Watson, 78 overall true freshman. And Rashard Chatfield, 72 overall true freshman. Our D-line is just absolutely stacked, guys. Oh my goodness, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch Carroll to the right end. We're going to have Martz be the new left end, taking Carroll's spot. Carroll is going to be taking Norm Blunt's spot. And we're going to get Nelson and Watson on the field as well. All right, guys, we're going to do that. 84 speed for Watson. That is ridiculous. Could he play a linebacker? No, he couldn't. Dang. That is crazy. We're definitely going to be doing some formation subs. We might have... Um, Watson starting the end on probably nickel formation and we might put Nelson in there as well just to get him some playing time get him on the field and our defensive tackles oh my goodness Tommy Earl 78 overall freshman so he's gonna be a starter uh, Marion Mills oh my goodness guys our program is in good hands a lot of good young talent here Outside linebackers, Dominique Mullins, 82 overall. Right outside linebacker. And Justin Walden, Jacob Hartley. We're going to start Walden again, I'm pretty sure. Well, we're, still, we're young everywhere, which is really good. Here's our new middle linebacking core. We got Jonathan McNeil. Looks like he's probably going to end up being the starter. Charles Archie's here. He's going to be pretty good. Oh, man. I'm so excited for this team right now and the future. Corners. Look at the speed we have. This is ridiculous. Jason Landry, 99 speed. Senior. Elver Washington, 99 speed. Jason Parsons, 91 speed. Sophomore. Omari Lynch, 88 speed. Not terrible. Gives us some pretty good depth here at corner now. Uh, free safety, Brandon Johnson, 92 speed, of course. John Stevens, we're going to start him a strong safety again. Ronald Dupree, he's going to be really good for us too still. Antoine Cobb. Uh, Micah Hopkins, number one strong safety, not very fast, only 85 speed. Chris Mills is a senior kicker for us this season. The ACC second team kicker. Hunter is a sophomore. Let's see, athlete. And what are you going to be playing, Mr. Athlete? He'd be an 82 overall fullback or a 76 overall tight end. We just got a tight end, guys. I wasn't expecting that. All right. So we did get a tight end. Let's go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's go to training results. Uh, see who improved the most. Come on, baby. Train my players faster. I mean, the training should not take that long, right? Come on now. There we go. Oh my goodness, Brock Leon up plus six. Let's just go by position here. So quarterbacks, uh, nothing too crazy. I mean, Alvin Wilson went up four. Halfbacks, everybody went up two. Fullback went up two to 82. Receivers all went up two points, except for James Goss, who went up three. Tight end went up three. Both of them did. Left tackle went up three, up to a 65 overall. 
Guard. I mean, Shepard didn't move at all. What is that? Come on, man. Center went up two. The backup center went up six. That's insane. Brock Leon going up six is crazy. Absolutely 82 overall, which is really good. So the interior of the offensive line, 82 overall, 78 and 80. That's that's decent. And we got Jax Watts at, well, he's actually going to be the left tackle. Er, no, he will be the right tackle now with 80 overall. And what was the other, the freshman? Was he a 78 overall? So our O-line is pretty decent now. Left end didn't improve at all. LJ Carroll went up to an 89. Parham went up to a 76. Samson didn't move. He had a good season, too. Two sacks, 29 tackles, forced fumble. Didn't go up. That's crazy. Sands went up to a 72. Why are my starters not improving? Angel Hollins did. He's the backup, though. Stewart up to an 80 overall middle linebacker. Okay. Trying to keep that starting spot, I see. Mullins up to 84. Hartley up to an 80. Okay. We'll probably get one starting season out of Hartley. Uh, probably like season, what, season 7? Most likely. If he stays for his retro senior season. We got good players. Yes, sir, we did, Tyler. Jason Landry up to an 88. Washington up to an 85. Parsons up to an 80. Let's go. Speed also went up to a 92. I like that. John Stevens up to an 85 overall. Dupree up to 86. Johnson to an 87. Dupree is coming for that starting free safety spot. My goodness. Cobb up to an 82. He's not a starter anyway. Godfrey Barnes actually overtakes Mills, but what is his kicking statistics here? He's got better accuracy than Mills, but Mills has a little bit better power. But I'm pretty. We're going to still start Chris Mills. He's a senior. Stanford Geronimo! 91 power, 84 accuracy. He's up to an 82 overall. Alright, let's continue to cut players. We don't have to cut anybody. We are sitting pretty at 67 players. We've only got 8 seniors on the team, guys. I like it. Continue to set depth chart. Before we do the new schedule, which I'm sure is going to be a pain in the butt like last soft season, um, I'm going to save the game because I really don't feel like losing all this that we just had. I would cry. Cutting players takes so long. Baby. Man, I don't know what takes longer. This or saving. Still not as bad as um Blitz the League. Loading screens, which take about 10 days. My goodness. Take your time, game. Everybody's just falling asleep here. I realize they have to cut players for 119 schools, but still. Come on now. I'm excited to see what our preseason ranking is going to be. Since we're up to a four-star school, I'm 
I, I, we should be up to a four-star school. Let's see what our preseason ranking is, our conference ranking, preseason All-Americans. We'll check all that out before we end this stream. We gotta set the depth chart first, we'll, and then after that, I believe, is the end of the off season. So then we'll do the schedule and all that fun, happy stuff. I don't know if you guys can hear, but my bulldog is snoring in the kitchen right now. He's having a great time. Cutting players definitely put him to sleep. I'm saving immediately after this because I am not going through this again. <laughs> Until next offseason. My goodness. I don't remember it taking this long in all the other off seasons, to be honest with you guys. Are they just cutting that many extra players or what? Watch the, the cut player number just like doubled. All right, we're gonna save it real quick. No, actually, no, we'll do the depth chart, then we'll start the new season. All right, Rashad Gandy, he's gonna be our starter. 82 overall true freshman. I mean, this guy's gonna be insane, right? He's not gonna be able to run the football a whole lot. He's not that fast, not that agile. A little less athletic than Sutherland in certain aspects, I guess. Uh, he's more agile though. Less speed by six. He's stronger. He's 6'2", 233 pounds. He is a big quarterback. Running backs. I mean, we're going to get... I'm going to do formation subs for running backs, so I'm not too worried about, about that at all. Anton Smith. We're going to do formation subs for the receivers as well to get Smith in there. Uh, probably going to put him on the outsides for some of those go routes and on the inside for some wheel routes. Those wheel routes are going to be filthy with him. Left tackle is Kenneth Moultrie, the 6'8 freshman. He is the starter, 76 overall. Left guard, sophomore, DeAndre Shepard, 80 overall. Center, retro freshman, James Patrick, 78 overall. Right guard, Sophomore, Brock Leon, 82 overall. And at right tackle, Jax Watts, the sophomore, with an 80 overall. Pretty good offensive line for us, guys. This is the best O-line that we have fielded. I mean, the other four seasons, it wasn't even close. I think, at most, we would have one lineman with an 80 overall or more. But now we have three. So it's looking promising. Left end, Mac Martz is going to get the nod. True freshman, uh, he, he's going to be a beast, man. I can't wait to see what he's going to do. Uh, we're going to definitely make Watson the number two left end. Because I want him with the 84 speed to get in there. Right end, LJ Carroll moving over to take over Norm Blunt's spot. And at D-tackle, Douglas Sampson is sliding over. Are we going to slide him over to where Kwame Gatewood was, or are we going to put Mills in that spot? Let's see. Both have the same strength. The freshman actually has better awareness than the sophomore. Tommy Earl's acceleration is 80 for a 300-pound defensive tackle. What? What do you mean, guy? Oh my goodness. <laughs> what the heck? 89 tackle for Mills. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter uh, where they're going to start. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to put Mills in Samson or in Kwame Gatewood's spot so Samson stays in his original spot. Left outside linebacker Justin Walden is the starter. And his backup is Angelo Hollins or... Hartley. Yeah, we're going to keep Hartley there, actually. Middle linebacker, 
Rashad Stewart is a starter. Uh, he's not as fast or strong as these true freshmen that we just got. Only thing he's got going for him is better awareness. I don't think I want... Oh, 62 jumping? Oof. I think I'm actually going to start McNeil, guys. The true freshman McNeil is going to get the nod here. I know his overall's not as good, but you know what? I just don't care. Right outside linebacker, Dominique Mullins, the junior. He'll be backed up by Jacob Hartley as well. Corner. I mean, we have got so much speed at corner. It's actually crazy. Free safety. Brandon Johnson, of course. Strong safety. Is going to be Stevens. I'm usering him, so the 65 overall does not matter, guys. Uh, kicker. We're not starting Godfrey Barnes. We're going to start Mills. He did really good for us uh, last season. 15 of 19. And 45 of 45 for extra points. And Godfrey Barnes, I mean, he didn't do, like, awful. He was 13 of 20, 60 for 60 extra points uh, his freshman season. But, or sophomore season, rather. Or no, it was his freshman season. What am I talking about? And let's see. Geronimo, punter, kick return. This is interesting. I'm not going to start Landry. Or Washington. I'm gonna get our freshman half back out here, Steve Daniel, with a 92 speed, and then I'm gonna get our true freshman wide receiver with a 98 speed, Anton Smith. And Smith is also gonna be returning punts for us. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. I just don't feel like having Landry be out there and get all tired and get hurt and fumble the ball anymore. Because it's driving me nuts with the fumbles. Alright, that's it for the depth chart. Going to do the schedule and end the stream. Well, no, we're going to save it, do the schedule, and look at all the Sports Illustrated hoopla. And then I'll save it again. Off stream. And probably, you know, watch YouTube until I pass out. Because that's just what I do. I'm actually going to let my dogs out right now, so uh, you're going to hear my German Shepherd go absolutely crazy by the back door in a second. Be back momentarily, fellas. Come on, Ruben. Let's go, buddy. Wow, they got Texas on the cover, huh? Daz has Texas fans excited about another national championship. Yeah, didn't they win the, the title? I, I can't remember. I mean, not last season, obviously. Miami won against West Virginia, but I'm pretty sure Texas won one of the past few. All right, let's save it real quick so I don't have to go through any of that again. Was that my dogs? Yes, that was definitely the dogs, Tyler. Figured I'd let him out while I finish up the stream, let him back in, and then it's bedtime. I can't believe I've been streaming for six hours today. I definitely did not plan on the stream taking this long, but I wanted to be extremely thorough in the off-season recruiting uh, because, well, I want to win. And I, th I think having the number one recruiting class in the country... Uh, is going to help solidify our, our program for the next, you know, 
I don't even know, but like the foreseeable future at least, you know? Getting a five star quarterback is a game changer. Alright, let's take a look at all the goodies. First, let's see. Yep, we are in fact a four-star program now, guys. I'm not sure what the coach prestige is, because well, it doesn't say. Well, it does, but <laughs> our stars are white, so. Preseason polls. They got West Virginia number three. Texas is number one. Miami two. West Virginia. Penn State. Oklahoma, Kansas State, Ohio State, Tennessee, USC, Michigan, number 10, Florida State at 11, South Carolina, Oklahoma State, Virginia Tech, Wisconsin, Wake Forest, LSU, Georgia, Missouri, Iowa, Washington, Ole Miss, Nebraska, Florida, Washington State to round out the top 25. We got snubbed, guys. We're not even in the top 25. I'm hurt. Where are we? Oh my goodness, no way. We're number 30. <laughs> I mean, our overall is a B. I understand that. Like, plays a factor and everything, but... Come on, man. We finished last season 21st, you know? We won our bowl game. We had nine wins on the season. Average attendance is 50,000. That's that's pretty good. All right, FIU, uh, they have a B- minus overall, and they're dead last. What in tarnation? All right, let's take a gander at the Heisman watch. Tennessee quarterback, redshirt senior. This is the last season of the series that players are ha gonna have just numbers for their name. It always takes five years to make a team completely yours. Major Doss, I mean, that is a fantastic name, especially for a Texas quarterback, that's beautiful. Quarterback from Penn State, wide receiver from Oregon, okay. And a quarterback from Missouri. Preseason All-Americans. See who we got. Wow, Western Michigan quarterback number one. I'm going to go through these quick. John Stevens, first team All-American. Let's go. Second team. Do we got anybody? We do not. Whoops. All right, let's go to All-ACC. Really? Shannon Sutherland, first team All-ACC quarterback? No way. There's just, there's literally no way. He was terrible. I mean, he wasn't, and his stats are not great, but he wasn't terrible. Stevens, first team All-ACC. Second team. Our kicker. All right. So we got three preseason All-ACC players. I like it. I don't know about the whole quarterback thing. He's not even our starter now, but. All right, conference outlook. Defense is the reason Texas is picked to win the Big 12. And we are picked to finish 6th. Oof. 6 out of 11. That That's disrespectful. Well, we're going to have to prove the doubters wrong, guys. Alright, toughest places to play. Let's see if we're on here. Tennessee has the number one stadium. And we're not quite on there yet, guys. We went 5-1 and one at home last season, so... Wow, West Virginia's won 17 straight home games? Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and we're going to do our schedule. Do we have any out-of-conference teams locked in? We do not. Thank you, Jesus. 
All right, let's try to get our, our rivals in here. See what happens. See if Army and Air Force are here in week two. Somebody is calling me at 10.14 at night. I'll be right back. Well, not too bad. 